these should be What is up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Friday night, Deep Stack Cash, 2 5, No Limit Hold'em, special guest, my friend William Hung. Mr. She Bangs. Mr. She Bangs, right there in the 2 seat. You guys might recognize him, American Idol contestant. Uh, became kind of a, a, a meme. I, but see, what people don't understand is he actually got a recording deal. He made albums. Like, he made Christmas albums. That's right. Because I was at a Jacksonville Suns game, and they played, like, a handful of his songs. No way. Yes. He, that's, like, it was a joke, but he made actual money. So, no, the, he's rolling in it, pretty sure. So, uh, you guys see him there in the two seat. My man, William Hong. He actually plays a lot of poker. He's played on a couple live streams in the past. He likes Best Bet Jacksonville. Um, he's been on he's been on the, the radio show a couple of times. But uh, other than that, got a pretty usual cast of characters. You see Big Don. There Ricky, in the, uh, Jeff, Jared. Seven seat. Yeah, Ricky there in the nine. Good old Chuck. Chuck in the one. My man, Jeff Hunt, there in the eight seat. So we're jumping right in. This is the second hand of the night. Don picking up the ace five off suit in the muck. And Jeff picking up two black eights. Already running good. First like hand it. of the night. Coming in for 25. Goes 5x. Nothing wrong with it. Looks like he's going to pick up a uh, call from Chuck here in the cutoff with pocket deuces. I saw William down there when the graphics load up. William has ace queen of diamonds. So once that action gets around to him, I'd like to see what he does. Oh, wow. William comes in with a three bet. Second hand of the night makes it 85. Is that right? Oh, 110. Good. Get him, William. Get him. And uh, let's see what Jeff does. Jeff's oh, going to fold. Man. Jeff and Chuck both fold. Nobody wants to set mine against William Hung out of position. They probably play with him. They know he probably has somewhat of a tighter image. They don't want to get too out of line early. You know? He, uh, yeah, he's been here. He's been here a couple days. So... He's been playing here in the room. Just having a little fun. <laughs> which is perfectly fine. But uh, it should be a good game. Don's in the game, too. He has a ton of chips. Everybody's ready to get in the action. Looks like uh, that uh, player there in the yellow shirt, he, he loves he loves to get in the action. Don picking up ace-10 suited under the gun. Looks like he's going to come in for a raise. Looks like he makes it 30 to go. 30 bucks. 6x. Ricky making the call with King Jack off suit. And uh, looks like we're going to go heads up to this one. Don v. Ricky. Both players miss the flop. Don ahead, ace 10 suited. Oh, he's going to turn the nut flush draw, though. Big turn card here for uh, Don there in the blue mask. Don bets that flush draw and takes it down. Ricky gets out of the way. King Jack off suit in the muck. Thank you guys for tuning in. We are about six days out from the start of our winter series. Next Thursday, event one. That's going to be a 11 days of poker. Yeah, from the 21st uh, all the way through the, the first, right? 11 days of poker action events every single day. It's just going to be beautiful. Yeah, event number one, a 560 No Limit Hold'em, three day ones. And then we will live stream that final table right here uh, a week from this Sunday. That should be pretty fun. Ricky coming out for 25 with pocket nines under the gun plus one. Uh, I think pocket nines holds a, a very special place in his heart. He scooped that massive, massive pot that uh, Bart Hansen broke down with pocket nines. Remember he made oh, the vote right, right, right. Yeah, scooped two straights and two sets. Yep. All the same hand. And he scooped with the boat, pair of nines. So I don't think we'll ever not see him raise it up with uh, two nines. Two nines are actually in the lead. Uh, not the best board for pocket nines. Justin bets $60. Brian Birch in the chat is 
I've been saying this for months. I hate King Jack. It's the worst hand ever. You never know where you are. Unless you're hand. flopping the nuts. It's not yeah, you, unless it's you not. flop Broadway or unless you flop King, King, Jack, you never know where you are in the hand. It's not really. I hate that hand. I don't like it either. Don't like I've been it. playing it a little more lately, but uh, I still, every time, it, I don't like it. PGZ, I'd be lost without you, without, without the viewers, man. We appreciate you guys tuning in and uh, making us a part of your, you know, your daily routine. We're uh, here for the people, you know. Gotta be. Looks like uh, straddle pot. This hand. Straddle, straddle. So I guess we're gonna go back and add the straddle in. Yep. And it looks like uh, we, um, from what I can tell, I think there was a four bet from Jeff. There we go. Jeff putting in the three bet here with King Jack. All right. The hand that you don't like. Soon. I just, I just went on a rant about King Jack and Jeff three bets and takes down a pot. He feels like it's the best hand. Maybe it was. Uh, I think two eights, though, were slightly in the lead. Uh, yeah, guys, so the main event for that winter series is going to be a $2,000 main event. We didn't put a guarantee on it, but the last time we had something similar, we got almost 300000 in the prize pool, and that was just for a 1500 with no guarantee. So this time it's a 2K, no guarantee main event to close out that winter series. We will also live stream that final table, running satellites daily, weekly, uh, doing a couple megas, a lot of cool stuff going on. Head over to our website. It's just been revamped, www.bestbetjacks.com. All the info, 2021 Winter Series. Mm -hmm. You can sign up via the website. Uh, you can request a seat on a live on a live stream via the website. It's a uh, it's a super smooth process. Uh, the website's been, like Dustin said, completely revamped. So you can do a number of different things on that without having to email and go through different things. John Harris, what do you mean? It's gonna be your new spot, William. Oh, what do you mean? Bob, I'm going to take the over just because I'm pretty sure everybody in the game came in for the max. I don't think we had any short buys. I think everyone came in for the max. Just move from L.A. Yeah. Oh, got to. Yeah, that's real. It's crazy over there. I didn't know. I didn't think there was even a lot of taxes, prices, COVID. Yeah, everything. Looks like Justin coming in for a raise here. Under the gun plus one opens for 35. Heater. His name is Heater. Heater. Just Heater. Interesting. Three betting Jack Jack out of the hijack. Oh, Justin bumping up ace 10 suited. Chuck with the red deuces again has to fold him. Let me know if the stream is working good for you guys. YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Let me know if it's working good, if there are any problems or anything is hiccuping. Let me know. Everything seems smooth, but please let me know. Bud moves, we're on to the next one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. You got uh, me, Dustin Shacklock, my main man, Adonis Lane, in the chat. What's going on? Just watching a good game. Hopefully uh, we can see some chips pushed around the table. I know that's what everybody wants. That's right. We got Kirk Chewy, a.k.a. Victor Freeze, in the box, accompanied with Elise. We got the Dream Team tonight. Nick from Yuma, shout out in the YouTube chat. What's up, man? Thanks for swinging by. Eight and nine, 
skulls, two gold circles, heads up. the night against Chuck. Congratulations to me. I figured I'd let you have the small yeah, first Let me one. have the small one. Right. Later on. You get, you get the 700 uh, $800. That's, that's the key. <laughs> Lucky to get that one. <laughs> okay. G Dice says one quad and over 2450, or 2450 is the line. I'm going to take the over. Uh, me and Bob got side action. He said uh, 2970, and I like that number. Everyone bought in super deep. It's been a little snug so far, but they usually are out the gate, so we'll see. Oh, what a bad. Uh... Oh, I thought this was about to get chopped up. It's not. Pocket tens versus nine eight suited. Heater opening under the gun. Oh, quads out the gate. Wow, and Heater's got an open ender. Heater gets there too, makes a straight on the river. That's not good. That's not good. He's, he's, Jack, he's gonna get hurt, and he's gonna get hurt big time. Look at Jared. Jared just looks like he has quads, right? He's about to get cooled off in a major, major way. Did he just raise? He. Oh, Jared bet twenty-five. Heater made it seventy-five. Time to go to Value Town. But how much value can you get? Do you just go for like that standard three bet to two twenty-five? So you're just praying that he has a full house. Unfortunately, you, you you really want to see Jack-10 here. You really hope he has a hand like Jack-10. Jesus Christ. Really he can't believe it. Kings. It hurt him. He had to sit back in the chair after that one. Oh, he can't have Jack-10. Yeah, Jack's full. Oh. Jack's full. Get there on the river. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we had to restart the stream on Facebook. But, yeah, uh, as soon as the stream started back up, he flopped quads. Jarrett flopped quads. And... Uh, Jarrett actually made the final table at the 1010 XL tournament. He finished in seventh place. Uh, very good poker player. Pretty fun week on the live stream for Jarrett. Yeah, and I mean, it's always good to make quads on the live stream. Always good. He's I think it's uh, really early to make the high head about 30 minutes too early, right? Yeah, that's the only part that sucks, you know. Or if you're even closer, like if it's like 7 58 and you make like a queen high straight flush, you just know you're not going to get paid. One of those hands you make like twice a year? Yeah. Never made it. Well, actually, I have. I made a steel wheel once. And I was supposed to have left by by the time I hit it. Chuck getting in there with the 6-3 suited out of the hijack. Justin makes the call from the button with king-queen suited. That gives Heater a good price. We got some uh, big hands and some small hands. Everybody gets a little piece, too. Flush draw for Heater. Ricky with top pair. Chuck with bottom pair and Justin with middle pair. Everybody has a piece. Ricky's laying it on thick, though. Going to charge the max. Ricky's sitting here with top pair. And uh, let's see if Heater, uh, Heater might be uh, steaming after that quads hand. Let's see what he does. Oh, he's going to be in pretty bad shape if he doesn't hit that club. And Ricky's not going to make it cheap. And uh, Heater's going to go ahead and fold. Heater can't believe it. He's like, in two hands, <laughs> I've lost 400 bucks. But the wonderful thing about poker is it's so easy to get it back. All it takes is one hand. That's all it takes. I would like one of those sessions. It's like a massive, massive session where you literally can't lose. But the only thing for me is that I feel like it's an, ine it's an inevitable thing. 
where it's like, oh, I buy in for, you know, say 500. Oh, I get up to 2,000. Well, I'm like, I know the downswing is coming, so why don't I just leave now? But, you know, I never can really stick it out because I'm like, well, if I stay any longer, I'm just going to be giving it back. The universe will punish me. That's maybe why I can't maximize the amount I win. Jeff bumping up the King-9 suited under the gun. Heater's in. Heater's in there, 9-10 off suit one he time. He just wants to make some dollars back. He wants to. Uh, he just wants to make a big hen. Yeah, he's like, if he can do it, I can, right? He's still, gonna hope so. Still steaming from that hand with the straight. Yeah. When you make when you make the straight on the river, and you didn't realize you were behind and drawing dead the whole way. And uh, Jeff did flop top pair. And Jeff has the check mark, and Heater is betting straight into Jeff for 35. Oh man. Straw man in the YouTube chat, what's up? Mad Benjamin, a couple chat rags, what's up guys? Yeah, now that's a perfect card for Heater to bluff. That's the perfect card for Heater to bluff at it. I was gonna say at this point he pending any river was definitely gonna try to turn his hand into a bluff. He's just gonna have to hope that it gets through. But Jeff is a Jeff is a is a seasoned player. Yeah, Jeff's Jeff. got a little bit of kicker problems, but Jeff's not folding top air. Jeff says if you got a better hand, you just gotta show me. Yep, and um, this is not good for Heater. Just the nine was good. Jeff, Jeff Jeff, just had a better nine. He didn't even need the king. He didn't. If the nine came, it would have been okay. Jeff had a better nine high. That's just not, it's not good. Now, you know, if, if Heater wasn't tilting already, you got to think, uh, oh, and the jacket's coming off. He's, uh, he's, getting, he's getting serious now. Game to play. He's like, you know what? Uh, now that you've taken a little from me, I'm gonna take all of it from you. It's getting real. He's ready to. He's ready to. What's what's the term they use in, in Florida? He's ready to hunker down. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's ready to do something. Jacket off. That's power normally, move. That's yeah. That's normally when you know things are about to get real. Chuck Jack. opening up the ace four suited under the gun plus one. Oh, suited ace for Justin too. Justin makes the call, ace five suited. We get an all low board, we're gonna have an action flop. Wow, both players flopping an ace. Oh, buddy. And snap call from Justin. Queen of Hearts is gonna give Chuck the nut flush draw though. Big turn card there for Chuck. Kind of a tough spot for Justin. But he's going to make the call. Wow, oh! Wow, Chuck running pure. Don't check it, Chuck. Runner, runner, go. perfect. No, Chuck's never checking in this spot. A lot of straights, a lot of two-pair combos get there. Um, Think obviously, the th uh, backdoor hearts. Kind of a tough spot for Justin. Chuck can have all the queen tens, all the jack nines. Oh, he only saw the ace four. He only saw the ace four, so he's like, oh, wait, we chop it up, right? No. That's the nut flush. Yeah, that's the nut flush. Runner, runner, nut flush. Yeah, I mean, Chuck's got to have a hand like ace six. You know, that's really the only hand you could beat. <laughs> only hand he could beat. He can't even beat ace nine. He could beat like king queen. Woo! Usually I sink, sink like a stone. Actually, I, I jump up, and then I and sink as soon like as I leave. <laughs> so I guess what Chuck so is alluding to, or at least what he's telling <laughs> Justin, is uh, that when he plays on the live stream, he runs very well at first. He goes way, way up, and then towards the end, he just starts coming on down. <laughs> and I, <laughs> since he knows that, I, I envision he might he might tighten up as the stream gets gets uh goes deeper and deeper into the night. Justin's uh, getting right back after it, though. Bumping it up to 35 with the 7-6 offsuit. Gets no action. Picks up the blinds. No action. All right, button moves. We're on to the next one. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, what's the high hand promotion tonight? Uh, I believe it's 500 every 30. $500 every 30 minutes, starting in about 30 minutes here at Best Bet Jacksonville. So that should be a good time for you guys. Come get you, you some. Come come get some, you know. 
Oh, well, I only play 2-4. Well, you can hit a high hand on 2-4. You can hit a high hand on 2-2. Two, two. You can hit a high hand on 2-5. You can even hit a high hand playing PLO. So, Any of the uh, any of our bigger players want to come down? we got a 5-10 going. Yes, nice Mitch. to get a must move into that game. Jared bumping up the ace-queen suited. Heater makes the call. Pocket trays. He, Heater's looking for a tray. He wants it He's so bad. He some of that back. He after, wants a tray uh, so bad. After Jarrett flop quads against him. He's not going to get that tray. Check, check, check. He actually goes check, check. Check, check, check. And the turn's a jack and the river's a jack. Man, I was just thinking in my head how I hate having these small pocket pairs on paired boards like this because it's so easy to get counterfeit. Like if a seven comes. And then you just, you know, you're showing down. Runner, runner, he got counterfeit. You're showing down tray high or you're just playing the board essentially. Yeah. Yeah, I was it's just thinking fun. how how much I don't like being in those spots with small pocket pairs. It really yeah. sucks. You're like, why is this happening to me? Yep, and then the board double pairs, and you got Jackson eights. You're playing the board. What do you have, Jackson eights with a seven? He had Jackson eights with a seven. Yeah. At that point, his pair, his the only pairs he were playing were on the were on the board. Bob says he should have bet the flop. I was kind of thinking the same thing. That's why uh, that train of thought Mike entered S my head. What? Mike S I've been there a bunch of times. I'm sure you guys have too. Yeah, and then when you get to showdown, you realize, well, maybe I was ahead, and now I'm not any longer. Uh, playing the board? Yeah. Playing the board, it's never good. You never want to hear that. Also, the bad thing about it is a, a bet on the river looks really fishy, and you're probably going to get called at a pretty high frequency by ace high. Almost all the time. You can't even really bluff the river in that spot. So really the only move is to start telling the story on the flop. Yep. And then hope, hope to improve. If not... Hope you can bluff your opponent off the hand. Oh, Chuck, don't do it. Just put King Jack in the muck. I hate King Jack so much. Chuck wants to see a flop. He's heads up. He's closing the action. Wow, Don just oh. flops the stones with the super nut redraw. And Chuck has the king of diamonds. Oh, man, the deuce of diamonds would be a nasty card. Okay, that's a pretty good card for Chuck to, you know, not want to bet any, any bet anymore. Now Don here is going to try to extract a little bit of value. 35. Chuck's oh, got a so straight small. draw also. Chuck's probably going to make the call here. That's so with small. His straight draw. Kirk, don't put the diamond. I mean, we they all want the diamond, but I don't. That's hurt. that's pain. That's a lot of pain if you put the diamond out there. Okay. Pairs the board. Very good, very good. Oh, we didn't take the radio. Got it. 150 from Don. Actually, you got the better of it. Take me to flop the joint, though. And Chuck realizes how he was lucky and, and lost the minimum, you know, because if that diamond comes, Chuck loses a lot, and, and I don't think we want that. Chuck's a pretty solid player. You want he wants to be able to dodge those kind of hands, so I think he's uh he's wiping the sweat from his brow with that one. Peter's going to make it 20 with the king nine of clubs. Yeah, he said he had a gutter ball and a flush draw and didn't know, didn't know uh, how bad a shape he was in. As we shuffle up and get to the next hand, we've had some uh, big hands and hands that have potential to be big tonight. Uh, we had Jarrett there flopping quads, and Heater, not dodging one, did make his nut straight or us straight on the river. Uh, and Heater here is going to pick up the two tens that he 
Saw Jarrett showdown against him to make quads earlier. And he's going to raise it up, make it 35. Don here with the mystery hand. And Don here is going to three bet to $100. And if there's anybody tilting on this table, if there's anybody that's heated up, no pun intended, if there's anybody that's not ready to fold, it's going to be heater. Uh, I think heater is going to almost snap, get his get his 100 in. And it looks like he might be cutting out a four bet. Hold on. I think we got a four bet coming, guys. And he's going with a large, large sizing. And he's going to make it $435 with two tens. The action's back to Don. We don't know what he has. He's going to take a peek at his stack, take a look. What do we think he has, guys? What do we think Don has right here? Ace, king, queens plus, jack, jack. I'm, I'm going to go I'm gonna go with queens. I'm going to say queens, maybe ace, king. I don't know if he's as strong as like aces or kings. I don't think he'd think about it too long. And he's all in. Oh, boy. And he's going to call queens. I say queens. He has aces. Oh, my God. Don has aces. Heater has ran into a wall again. He just can't catch a break tonight. He's going to need a 10. On the deuce is not going to help him. 10. And the ace is going to make... Don top set, four to a flush on the board, but he had no club. Uh, and Heater has been felted. Heater has been eliminated. And it just has been a tough, tough go at it for him early on. You know, getting cooled off by quads. I would have had a tennis club. Uh, no question about it. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, how much are you coming in for? It's 15. 15. 15. Uh, no, Heater did not have the Ten of Clubs. He did not. Uh, I was hoping he did, and I'm pretty sure he was hoping he did. Not a good start for him, but guess what? He's not giving up just yet. He has chips behind, and he's waiting to get back in the action. My man Heater just running into it tonight, huh? I mean, he didn't really play crap cards. He played, what, two tens? Uh, he had he had the straight. He did make the straight on the river. And then um, I think he, he got it in with another hand. You know what they say in that spot? What? Sometimes it be like that. I mean, sometimes it does be like that. You just kind of have to let it happen. Two pair for Ricky. And Heater here, ace high flop. He has a king in his hand. He is going to turn a gutter, but can he get there? He's going to want a card that he probably hates by now, the 10. When he had the 10s, they didn't work. When Jared had the 10s, he got mowed down. But right now, he's looking for a card that he hates a whole lot, and that's a 10. 10 ball one time, Elise. Heater Heater's, Heater's looking for it. He says, I'm not going anywhere. Ricky getting the uh, check mark here, making fours full on the river. Tough to get any value here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Oh, Nick from Yuma calling him out. Straw man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh. And uh, it must be nice to play 4-5, uh, call a preflop raise, and make a boat on the river. I hope I know what that's like. Hopefully I can experience that. I'm having fun already. I'm happy we're doing this tonight. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm slowly becoming invested in the comeback story that is Heater. I just hope at some point it turns around because right now it is not good. Right now it's not good. Right now he's probably contemplating a lot of things. You know, I know in those positions, for me, I can only speak for me. I just go, why did I get off the couch? He told me when he sat down that this was his first time playing on the stream. I, uh, That's... I know, I hate that for him. <laughs> it's never good. Still early, though. We've only been, yeah, we've only been live for about 40 minutes. This is why I say, hopefully, uh, he gets that redemption story. Sooner rather than later. But, a lot uh, of deuces out there. Jeff's pair of fours are good. And uh, he is actually continuing here. He feels like that's a pretty good flop for fours. Hard for anybody to have a deuce. And if uh, somebody just happens to have a seven, we'll just shut down on the turn. Uh, William Hung did play a hand, John Harris. William Hung played the first hand, actually, if my memory serves me correctly. Jeff picked up two black eights. William Hung three bet Jeff to a hundred and. Fifteen dollars on the button, and it went full, full, full. That was uh, that was the hand William Hunk played. Thank you. The man, uh, the man plays pretty conservative. He's uh, he's looking to make money. He's not going to step out of line. I don't think he plays as conservative as we think. My impression of him last time was that he just cultivates a table image. Yes, and then, and then he uses that. So I told you, yeah, when I was dealing to him in two five, uh, he had cultivated that image and then tried to sure. run a massive bluff on the nine C. He was in the eight and just turned over a stone cold bluff. I couldn't believe yeah. it. I just sat there with my mouth wide. I was dealing. I just sat there with my mouth wide open. And he goes, he just goes, yeah, you caught me. You caught me bluffing. He's like, I never do that too often. I was like, oh. Yeah, he's got moves. I remember watching him on the last stream. Um, he he definitely he got moves. Bluffs. Yeah, yeah, okay. he knows what he's doing. Like I said, he plays a lot. He's been playing for a long time too. Jesse the boss always says that uh, he used to play in the wind back in the day, and they've been here for eight years. So. Wow. You said he used to play 2-5 at the win, 2010, 2011-ish. So he's okay. played a long time. So he, uh, he's, he's, not, he's not new to the poker scene. He knows how to play. He knows how to get down and get after it. Super nice guy. He's been on the radio show a couple times. He's uh, super, super duper nice guy. Yeah, he is. And I, I kind of like – I didn't want to be disrespectful. And, you know, I just told him. I was like – I walked past him. I was like, wait, are you William Hung? He's like, yeah. I was like, hey, what's up, man? He's like, hey, what's up, buddy? And I just kind of kept going. Uh, a friend of mine was telling me uh, a hand history before the stream. And actually, he told me the hand history a few days ago. And it was it, the scenario was like my friend had deuces and the other player had pocket kings. And it was – a single raised pot, and the other player just flatted with the kings, and the mm -hmm. flop came like king, blank, deuce. Mm -hmm. So it was set over set. And they got it all in, obviously, and the first player had top set kings, and he had bottom set deuces. And then when William Hung was sitting out, he was like, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, it was William Hung. <laughs> so William just flatted him with kings pre-flop, and, and then flopped top set and got all the money. William, so William can change up his level of play. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He, he can get tricky. I said, do you think he flatted kings as an exploit, or do you think he did it just like because he's tight and he was like no he definitely just flatted as an exploit yeah no 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 he because he three betting with ace queen there definitely he knows what he's doing yeah he knows what he's doing but he was like oh yeah remember that hand I forgot to tell you it was William Hung that's crazy William Hung not only can he sing he can play cards oh yeah rounder Rob good point he did play on Alive at the Bike I saw that one as well he played on Live at the Bike too I didn't know that. Bob, I don't know too much about Ricky at all. I know he plays on the stream a lot. He doesn't. I don't really ever see him out in the rest of the room or anything. Oh, uh, I have seen him. Yeah. I have seen him. I've seen him on the stream a lot. I've seen him in, uh, in the room playing live poker 2-5. Okay. All right. But he's not a regular to the point where I've seen him, like, over the last couple months. Maybe over, like, the last, like, few weeks I've seen him. Yeah, pretty much. Lisa? We've had a Lisa? Oh, no, it's a Lisa in the box. I was like, who's Lisa? <laughs> you got to move that syllable to the other side of the name. That's it. Okay, that's pretty witty. 
because if you do do that, that's exactly what the name sounds like. Yeah, yeah. That's I'm pretty a, witty. A secret genius. That's pretty witty. I like that. No, like, <laughs> I like. I looked down at my phone. I thought about it, and then I looked back up on my arm, and I just kind of go, hmm, he, he's pretty good. That's pretty witty. I like it. King Queen offsuit. Don's gonna make it thirty bucks. He's gonna keep that standard raise or that standard sizing, opening, open sizing, the same. Conceal the strength of his hand, and uh, he's gonna get Ricky in a pot. Ricky's got a uh, gutter ball here. Adam Flowers, you're good, man. You you took a shot at it. It's just a leash. You ain't doing nothing wrong. No need to apologize, my mans. Oh, uh, that is William Hung in the house. Mr. She Bangs, he's here, and he's playing on the stream. Uh, he's having a good time, and uh, he's mixing it up with the guys. Looks like these guys are going to check it all the way down to showdown. Don's king queen going to be good. I think Ricky could have bet at any point and probably stolen that pot. Very, very nice. Don picks up a nice single raise pot. Easy game. Don's trying to win all the chips tonight. Looks like Ricky coming in with a three bet here <laughs> with the Jack Nine offsuit out of the cutoff. Makes it 70 to go after Don raises the pocket trays. Don's trying to figure out if they're deep enough to set mine. I think the answer is going to be yes. Ricky's got about 20x the three bet. So Don's going to set mine here with pocket trays against Ricky's three bet with the Jack Nine off suit. Not a great flop for either player. Ricky ended up with a, a gut shot here to the eight. 147 in the middle. Wow. Ricky goes with the over bet there. Bets 160 into 147. And it works. Don, Don playing the no set, no bet game. Alex O in the YouTube chat, shout out, welcome back. Jack Nine in the house, he said he did it for the stream. Sorry guys, one second. You guys are just tuning in, that is, uh, that is William Hung, there in the two seats. Poker enthusiast, been around a long time. You got myself, Dustin Shacklock, Adonis Lane in the booth. I think we got a bad card, we gotta switch out real quick here. We all draw straws. Bring in a new setup. Off the table and Get rid of the damage the card, and we'll be uh, back in the game. What happened? Everybody draws straws. Short straw gets kicked off the table. And we move. And that's what we move, move, move to the first. <laughs> so uh, looks like the over under for the night is 29.70. We already hit the quads bet as we were placing the quads bet. The over under 29.70. So far, still good. Um, oh, like but everyone bought in pretty deep, like so it's definitely attainable. Three or four times just to get that one in here. I think everyone came in for the max, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure about Heater. He might have come in for right around a thousand on his second bullet. I know Chuck, William, Jeff, Don, Jarrett. I know they all came in for the max. Pretty sure Ricky did. Um, I'm not too sure about Justin. Switch out the cards and back in the action. Are you sure it's the same player? I mean, it, it, that's his name, but I, you know, for sure, could be. I mean, Mike S. Could be. At least catching some love in the chats. So people says that's my favorite dealer, longtime best bet dealer. Jeff picking up ace queen off suit makes it 25. Ricky right next door picking up some suited connectors. Gonna make the call. Try to sting him one time. And it looks like we are going to pick up Jarrett out of the big blind, closing the action with better diamonds. Bottom pair for Jarrett. 
Jeff with the two overs. And uh, Ricky with the gutter ball again to the 10. Jarrett not quite sold, trying to figure out if his tray could possibly be good. That nine makes things a little complicated because now he's losing to uh, a lot more hands than Jeff could have. The problem with that spot is like if Jeff doesn't have a jack but he has a hand like pocket eights and a jack comes on the river. Button moves. On to the next one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Jeff picking up King Trey suited under the gun. Hey, Aaliyah in the Facebook chat. What's up, Aaliyah? How you doing? Ace Jack offsuit for Justin on the button. Coming over the raise of William Hung. I told you guys, William Hung mixing it up. Opening queen four suited from the cutoff. Like I said, I think part of his strategy is to cultivate a table image as kind of a nitty tight guy and then try to exploit that later on in the session. That's kind of been my perception of him so far. I've had quads twice, and neither one of them qualified for the high hand. Big Sweet says uh, a lot of people in the chat probably aren't old enough to remember She Bang. When was it? 2004, maybe? 2005? Douglas O in the Facebook chat. Thank you, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Ricky, 9-10 suited under the gun, makes it 20 to go. Gets three bet by William. Jack-10 suited out of the high jack. Gets Heater to lay down the ace jack. I don't think Ricky's going to fold the 9-10 suited, but he's going to be in pretty bad shape. Wow, not now. Makes a straight flush draw. Now he's ahead. a pretty good flop for Will, for William. Um, unfortunately, William or Ricky's not going to be able to fold. Ricky puts in the raise here. Got a gutter ball, a flush draw, a straight flush draw, and his nine is live. Puts in the three bet. Shows him. That equity flipped real quick. He went from about a uh, two and a half to one dog to a favorite real quick. Jeff Wilson says William is a motivational speaker now. That's right. He said he has uh, some work to do in Orlando. And so he's just been in the central North Florida area for a while. And he likes Best Bet Jacksonville. So he plays here anytime he can. And he likes the live stream. He plays on the live stream a lot. Real Estate Life says American Idol season three in 2004. Yep, yep, yep. Says his book is called Champion by Choice. That's right, he did talk about his book a little bit last time he was on our radio show. I do remember that. 35? All right, going heads up to the flop. Queen Jack offsuit versus Jack 10 offsuit. All heart flop. Don gets the best of it. Both players proceeding cautiously on that monotone board. Looks like the six of spades on the turn doesn't change much. Makes Don's 10 pair of 10s a little bit better. Don scoops the bot, button moves, and we're on to the next one. Yamkus 
Uh, and the Twitch chat says, where's this played at? We're playing at Best Bet Jacksonville. Best Bet Jacksonville, Florida. Monument Road. Hartman jumping in the chat. What's up, man? How'd that 1010 XL main event treat you the other night? You staying at a hotel? Ten o'clock live. Okay. Why would I want her to go with me? V says everyone's a motivational speaker now. Okay. I've been there for forty something years. Four deuce off suit in the muck for Mr. Hung. I'm married a blonde. Thirty, forty-seven years ago. Okay. I'm married for looks, not for brains. Seven years. At least you can admit it. I'm in it. How long ago? Forty years ago. Don picking up ace queen off suit makes it thirty-five. Chuck in the straddle picking up two red jacks. Three bet out of the straddle. I like this move. Looks like Chuck's size is pretty large here. He knows he's playing against a strong player. He's going to be out of position, so he's really going to charge Don the max. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, wow. wow, 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 wow. What a fold for Don. I think it was a nice play from Chuck. Um, like I said, he's playing against a strong player. He's going to have to play the rest of the hand out of position, so he charges up the max preflop. All right, that's your first, that's your only pass. And it works. Right Don, here. surprisingly, to my surprise, <laughs> folds ace queen off suit. <laughs> that's it. Know what I came for. Correctly. <laughs> Make that Might add. <laughs> These guys have uh, put in a lot of hours playing against each other. <laughs> oh, Hartman didn't quite make the money. Uh, bummer, buddy. We're going to do that one a couple more times a year. It's a great tournament. 5,700 to first place. They ended up chopping, though. They chopped three ways. I think they all chopped three or four ways for 3,400. That bowler says, is the website down? I'm not sure, man. Somebody said something about it earlier, and I haven't had time to check. I hope not. We just revamped it. Yours is probably going to have to be re Because it's now... What's up, Sherry, in the Facebook chat? Happy Friday. Thanks for joining. Ace Deuce suited. Looks like a straddle pot. Ricky straddles. Chuck in the small blind picking up Ace Deuce of clubs. I like to call Jared picking up King Queen off suit. Straddle pot going to make it a little bit bigger. It looks like he's going to make it 40 to go. Heater's in it. I don't think I've seen Heater fold yet. He's folded a couple. Has he? Yeah, a couple of junky ones. I think he's, uh, I think he wants, whoa, Twitch chat is now in it. To win it. Sherry! Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. How we doing today? How we doing? Uh, that bowler in the Twitch chat asking about the opening weekend. Opening uh, weekend of what? Yeah, so event one is going to start this coming Thursday, a week from yesterday. So event one in. is going to be the 560 No Limit Hold'em Tournament. Mm -hmm. Three day ones, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all day ones, and then final day, Sunday, live stream the final day. Yep. And it should be a uh, it should be a fun time. You know, tournament poker, tournament season, you know, that smells in the air. You know, you got lines from the cage all the way back as the far as the eye can see. It's just great, you know. And then we have that two thousand dollar buy in main event, uh, which you can satellite into. That's the following weekend. And that's the following weekend. We got the horse tournament. We got the ladies event. We got the 160. We got the 360 monster stack. We have tournament, 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 tournament. We got a horse tournament next Saturday. We do. 23rd. Yep, the 23rd is the... Uh, I think it's a 150 horse, isn't it? I'm not sure what the price point is, but yeah. I th uh, 250, I think. 150 250? or 250. Yeah, we'll, we'll get clarification on that. See, and that's not too bad. You know, like I said, for all the tournament junkies out there, uh, even if you're not in the vicinity of like Jacksonville, if you're listening to the sound of my voice and you're like in Florida, you're in Georgia, Alabama, anywhere around there, you want to you know come up for some tournament action, please. 
This is our first tournament series in a year. We're going to get every tournament player in I a hope. 500 mile radius. I hope so. I want it. I want it. Bring them on. Bring them on. So I'll when the tournament when the tournament series like that, then the the cash games are super juicy. The cash games are so good, and this yeah. that's even from like a dealer perspective. I'm not getting any money. I'm not like winning any money on the table, uh, but the games are just so 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 good. We easily go from having four to five, two five games a day to having like fifteen, uh, and then you can even let your imagination go wild with two two. I mean, at one point, I think we had like twenty two two games. It's just. Wow. It's a good time. It's I a great time. The guy probably got some cooling on a belt. Would be my guess. I would hope that. That sounds like the cheapest problem to fix. Got to get Heater's card and the reader there. There we go. Uh, Ooh, he's even look, – look at that. Turning him around, and uh, it still didn't work. I wonder if that's a tell. <laughs> I think so. Look, he, he got his cards nice and neatly organized and then came in for a race. At least do you need something? Oh, wow. Ricky picking up two kings in the hijack. Chuck right behind him with two nines. Ricky comes in with a three bet with the pocket kings. Chuck Heater. makes the call with the nines. Heater, Heater what do you the have? Mystery hand. Getting the four bet chips out. Oh, I think we've seen this before. Let's let's hit this line. Let's hit this uh this twenty nine seventy line one time. We're I mean, quads. not only that, but I just I want Heater to like I love Ricky, I love Chuck, but I think he, it's about time Heater get a little bit back. I don't know if the four bet will do it because Ricky has king. So, uh oh, Heater makes it three fifty, three and a half x under the gun. Looking, his hands looking strong. Nick from Yuma says, rip, rip it one time. Got the five bet. This is why deep stack poker is so fun. Wow, Heater's got the aces in this spot. Wow. Oh, we're just short. Just short of the mark, 28-39. Oh, my God. King on the flop. Oh, man. Heater can't catch a break. Wow. Flops the two outer. Kings versus aces. This poor dude cannot catch a break. I walked away, I said, watch you. I said, watch Ricky flop top set. What, what did Heater have? Aces? Oh, yeah, the aces. This is not good. This is not good. Gross, gross, gross. I was hoping for the redemption story, and it's not happening, Dustin. This Dustin guy, is not this guy, happening. This poor guy can't catch a break, man. Man, Cooler City tonight. Heater down 3K. Yeah, we'll get some stats up for you guys uh, soon. Pretty gross spot for Heater. Ugh. There's nothing better than getting it in with pocket aces, seeing your opponent has pocket kings, and then he realizes that 18% equity right on the flop. I guess you'd rather him flop a king than river a king, right? Because you uh, you still think you can still win the hand. Hartman says stack three times in one hour. Yeah, things not really going his way. Ugh, pretty gross. Steve Nall in the chat. What's up, buddy? And I'm still holding on. I'm still hoping for Heater. 
He it's got not the, over uh, yet. He got the reload money ready. It's not over yet. The game is not over, and uh, I think uh, I think his time to run well is still is still on the way. It's got to happen eventually, right? I mean, what's the saying, Dustin? You got it. I don't think anyone has ever started a session running well. Like you have to get stuck to win, right? I mean, that's that's how I play. That's how I. That's how it always happens for me. I get stuck like two or three buy-ins, and then I'm guess what? End of the session, I'm up like 500. So I think that's what's coming for Heater here pretty soon. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. But it's pretty deflating to get aces and, you know, boom, the inevitable set set of kings runs right into you. You just hate to see it. Yeah, poor guy. And you said it was his first time on the stream? Yeah. Heater, Heater, I'm giving you all my life energy. I want you to run so well, buddy. Let's hope it. Let's let's materialize that run good. As he would have flopped top pair. But you can't be in it. You know, you lose with aces. King seven's not good enough to stay in. Chuck getting after it here with bottom pair. It's good. Takes one away from Justin. Gets Justin to fold a better hand. Yeah, Chuck's, uh, Chuck's a really good player. Chuck's a really good player, really good guy. And he knows what he's doing. You're never going to see him making any moves that, you. you know, necessarily don't make sense. Thank you. He's very, uh, he's a very aware player. Yeah, Chuck, uh, good player, solid dude. But I tell you, you know, it's one of those moments when you're in heater situation where you have to, you have to, I don't mean to, you know, sound, it sound like a blatant exaggeration, but you got to hold it together. You know, you got to realize that your run good's coming. Just got to hope it, hope it comes soon. Because that's a, it's a tough couple of hands for him. As we do uh, get ready to continue here and get into the next hand, at this point, you know, he's not even safe with aces. <laughs> it's like, what do you do? If you're not safe with aces, are you safe with anything? <laughs> well, like I said, I'd rather have my opponent flop a set of kings than river a set. Like Definitely. <laughs> 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 Jeff Manders in the Facebook chat. What's up? Yeah, uh, says Elise is trying to pick up, uh, <laughs> pick up on those coolers. Ricky, this time Ricky went aces again, or didn't he have them already? No, he didn't actually. Yeah, Kings, yeah. yeah. Gets a call out of Jarrett with some mystery cards. Jarrett makes the call with King Queen off suit. He doesn't know that he's uh, he's going to be up against the best hand ever created. He's going to need lots of help. Ace, ace again. That's right. That's some help, but he's going to need to improve here. Yeah, tough spot. Jarrett flopping top pair. He's never folding to one one bet either. Can't really. Can't be that tight in this game. Ricky takes a pretty large sizing here. Bet's 50 into 57. Interesting. My hands, dude. My extremity, dude. Now bets 150 into 157. Pot size bets. I mean, he's telling them the story. He's telling them. I was gonna say he's telling goods, them. Man. He's telling them I got it. Only thing is, can you can he fold to the I got it? Yeah, Jarrett. I don't. Jarrett makes the call there. This time, Ricky, uh, 275 or 375. 275 into about 450. That's tough. It's just a tough situation. Yeah, you get caught with top pair, and he just has aces, and you just go, nice hand. Yep, you just go, nice hand. Nice hand, and you just keep playing. And I tell you, I don't know if, like, I don't know if it's like a reverse psychology kind of thing, but Ricky's image has always been the loose player who raises it up with essentially any two cards, and I tell you, if he hasn't been playing completely differently, like he... He's tightened up, playing pocket pairs, playing, you know, premium hands. He's gone back and watched himself on the stream. I, I don't – that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's one of those things where he, like – you know, he's like, well, they're going to think I play like this, and then I'm going to play like this. You know, because the commentators are going to tell him I'm loose, and I, I don't know. Is that, like, some next level? I mean, to be fair, he's running incredibly good. He just got it in as an 18% favorite and won – or eight, as a – Oh, yeah. Four to one dog and won the hand. That's – yeah, that's a little bit of luck and goes a long way. Got aces two hands later and pretty much got, um, I would say, pretty close to the max. 
Yeah. I mean, betting, you bet pot almost every single time. Pot, but pot, two-thirds. <laughs> what's up with all these pocket pairs, man? What's going on? What's going on today? Don making it 20 to go off the button with pocket kings oh, and yeah. getting three bet by Jeff. Jeff three bet him with ace four. Both of these guys are pretty smart. This is going to go This this is going to go to the meta game here. Do you think we get a five bet here or a four bet here from, from Don? Um, I'm not sure. That's what I was just thinking. Like, this one's going to go – this one's going to get pretty deep. But, yeah, Don is going to three bet. Oh, I'm sorry, four bet. Yeah, and I don't think uh, – I don't think Jeff is going to – I think uh, I think Don flats here with some frequency, just because his uh, he's supposed to be really wide from the button. Mm -hmm. So I think he he probably mixes in some flats. I think uh, Jeff realizes, hey, he caught me through betting light here, and uh, he's punishing me. So let me just go ahead and fold and find a better spot. It's better okay. Hand. There's nothing wrong with getting caught through betting light. It's actually good. It's good to do that, right? Yeah. All right. Secondary is ready to go. You gotta, mix in, you gotta mix in some light three bets into your game, otherwise every time you three bet, people can just fold to you, you know? Yeah, and then uh that way you could definitely try to get into a big hand and make a lot of money. Yeah, you can't just only three bet the top of your range. You gotta mix in some light three bets. And it gets a button open from the small blind, ace four is a pretty good candidate. 25. I don't know about you guys, but when I play from the small blind, I like to do a lot of uh, raising or folding. I don't like to call a lot of hands out of the small blind. Um, so it looks like Jeff might kind of be thinking along those same lines, raising ace four in that spot. Alex says, no ladies tonight. Yeah, no ladies playing. No, they're out on the floor. I know Kristen was on the list for this game, but she was towards the bottom, so... Um, she's hoping to get in if, if it comes around to her, you know, her name getting called. But I don't envision this uh, lineup of eight is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. It's in. It's a relatively good game. Pretty sure everybody's going to be stuck in it pretty deep. Whether you're <laughs> stuck or heater's up, not going anywhere. Heater's not going anywhere for a while. Ugh, poor dude. Yeah, you just hate to see things like that. Especially when they happen, you know, back to back to back. It's just not. Yeah, we're good. an hour into the stream. Only an hour, and which actually we'll put some stats up after this hand, or we'll see if we can get some stats up. <laughs> Bob says Dnex up 16k tonight, stringing together a couple of wins, right? He had a four. Yeah. He had four wins in a row, and then he took a loss, and I guess now he's he's, he's up. That's pretty impressive. Four wins in a row against a heads-up, no-limit expert. You know, that's pretty impressive that he can. I don't think anyone like doubted that he'd be able to hold his own, but in that capacity, I haven't watched any of the games. I don't know if he's just like running super good, but I mean, it doesn't matter. Over 25k hands, like. The variance is going to work itself out. It definitely does. And it's working out for him. Gutter ball for Ricky, or excuse me, for Justin and Ricky here with ace high. The turn is a jack. And um, Ricky's 5% here to what? A chop? Bob says correct? he's still down 600K. Yeah, he's still down 600K, but he's been down 600K. Yeah, he's been down. Like over half of the session, right? So he's not getting any more stuck. You know what I mean? All right, guys, there's a quick look at the V-pips so far. Ricky in the lead, V-pipping about 35%. William snugging it up at 10%. To be fair, he's been pretty card dead. He's only played less than five hands probably. Uh, winning so far tonight, Ricky, after getting in that massive cooler, aces versus kings, king on the flop, heater, yep, you guys guessed it, down about 3K. So there you have it, so far, about an hour in, a little more than an hour, hour and 15.
Rob Wilson, good point. Dean Eggs was down almost a million at one point, 9.57. If I see aces again, I'm going to tell the dealer to shuffle Wow, Ricky. Man, Ricky running good. I'm going to tell the dealer to shuffle it up. Not only that, again. but like every time he has aces, there's a ra he's facing a raise. He's <laughs> always three bet pots. Everyone's just going to fold because they're like, oh, it's always aces. <laughs> Don, look at Don. Oh, Don split the six of hearts. Yeah, peeling the cards. You, this way you want to peel them carefully. Uh, Don is a little too strong with the cards, and he split the six of hearts. And I happened to see the card when I took the deck, and, uh, yeah, he split it pretty bad. Almost ripped it in half. Don, you're going to have to calm down, my friend. Uh, Jeremy, we're not going to announce the, the lineup on, on the air, like on live. Uh, we'll just post it day up. Bob says he's got the hot seat. That's right, man. He's running good. Uh, so Don broke the card. He Hulk, did. Hulked out. I mean, I don't know. Like he went to go peel it, and it just I I watched it rip. I'm like Don, you're you're using too much strength, bud. What are you doing? Don hulked out, ripped the card in half. Now we got to get a new deck. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta, I gotta come in here in a second and uh, get a new deck into the dealer. That's all right. We got to get a new player anyway. Jarrett's gonna take a walk. He looked pretty mad at himself after he made that call, that big river bet against uh, Ricky's aces. That was an expensive pot. It went uh, 25 pre, 75, or no, 50, 150. So. That was like a $500 pot. He looked pretty mad at himself for paying it off there. He didn't want to. I think he was just hoping that he uh, somehow Ricky had a flush draw on that spot. So uh, Heater going to get out of that seat, going to move over to Jarrett's seat. I don't know that Jarrett's seat was really any better. But, uh, So we're going to get a new player. We've got a list for this game, but we've been moving through it quickly. If any of you guys are in the area or in the room, want to get on the list, as you can see, it's been a pretty fun game, pretty deep. Don got a wall of chips there. Yeah, Heater Bailey says, get me out of this rigged seat. What is happening? Setup seat. Yeah, it is a lot here for sure. All right, so uh, <laughs> get a new deck in here momentarily. Bob says, do we have a summer series? Um, I'm not sure. That's pretty far in advance. We've kind of been taking you know, like the whole planning of these kind of events and stuff. There should be a, that, a shot clock. In everything is affected from the ground up. You know, we uh, it's been really hard to, to plan anything. The restrictions and the regulations and the travel ban, like all of that stuff, all of that stuff could change any day. So they they really don't know what to expect. They kind of were talking about the Winter Series for a while, but they didn't really pull the trigger on announcing it until – you know, a few weeks ago, so I really, I really can't say. I don't know about a summer series. I would imagine that we're going to do something. I just don't know. Uh, you know, it also kind of depends on what the WSOP is doing. Oh, thanks, Don. But it's not so much for pre-flop, it's for... Yeah, part of it's going to depend on what the World Series is doing. You know, if they're going to have live events in Vegas this year, I kind of have my own thoughts about that. Um, that's going to affect our scheduling. What do you guys think? You think uh, WSOP are they doing them all online? I haven't really seen seen anything about it. Is that what uh, is that what Bob's referring to? Don bumping it up with pocket sevens here. Gets called by Ricky in the hijack with king ten. Heater in there with the six five suited. Everybody got one pair. You get a pair. You get a pair. You get a pair. Don's going to lead out here with the pocket sevens and get called by middle pair from Ricky. Ricky actually in the lead here. Definitely makes it a smoother turn. Lock it up. Lock it up. 
Where's my gun? Uh, Coke and coffee in the Twitch chat. Yeah, that's William Hung in the two seat. He's been pretty snug. He hasn't played a whole lot of hands. Kind of an interesting river card in this hand between Ricky and Don. Don opened pocket sevens, bet all three, or bet two streets, got called in both spots by Ricky. Now trying to contemplate what to do on the river. Goes for a half pot bet and gets called. Ricky snap calls. I think Don was trying to figure out what kind of sizing to take on the river there. Kind of an interesting spot. A lot of hands get there. A lot of two pair hands, a couple of straight draws, everything else bricked. I don't think Don expected to get called by third pair there. I think he kind of figured he either has a queen or he doesn't. He has a queen or he folds. Yeah, William Hung in the two seat. Uh, like we've said, plays a lot of poker, plays in plays here in Best Bet whenever he's in town. Bob said Ricky is way in the black. Going to be tough to get him to fold a hand. Yeah, the dude can't miss. He just called with third pair and was good. King Jack seven, top two for Chuck. Takes a little less than half pot against Heater, who makes the call with two deuces. Chuck bets 40 into 105, trying to keep Heater on the hook. It worked once, not going to work twice. Woo! Been running. I got to take a breather. Sherry's saying not looking like we're going to have WSOP in Vegas this summer. No. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's one of my favorite trips every year. This, they Oh, they post the circuit events for the entire year already? Let's go take a peek. Yeah, that's kind of like what they try to do this year, I'm assuming. It, uh, it doesn't have the same kind of – it just it, it feels – it feels like you're you're getting shorted a little bit. Oh yeah, they posted everything. Ricky just limping pocket jacks under the gun, trying to get tricky. I think. I Jeff's mean, at this take point, free flop. I think at this point, you just got to figure out different ways to play when you run so good. I think Jeff just checked. Jeff's gonna take a free flop. Ooh, that's a pretty connected flop, but he does have the blockers to what? Jack eight, and he has a jack of diamonds, and that's a diamond on the turn. Can Ricky run any? Better. Ooh. I, Whoops. Well then. Spoke looks too soon. Way too soon. He got off the hook though. That's that's about the same as running good when you get off the hook on that river. Hundred percent. He could have gotten into a lot more trouble. Maybe the ace might have kept him out of a little bit of trouble. Twenty twenty two, that's what everyone's saying for the uh, WSOP. I mean, yeah, things are up in the air in terms of, I guess, you know, circulation of the vaccine and in terms of on a state level mandates. Well, I think a lot of it has, especially when it comes to the WSOP, is what travel restrictions look mm -hmm. like. You know, we that event draws people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So a lot of it depends on, on what travel looks like, I guess, in 2022. And if those travel bans are still in place, that okay, Heater. I understand. It's your time. That's it. Switch seat, pick up aces, and hope to win with them. Makes it 125. G Dice, we just had a, a 28 39. That was the big pot with the aces versus the kings, it was 28 39. That's a huge pot. Yeah, it didn't quite break the 29 70, though. Is the air on back here? <laughs> oh my god. They have Yeah. Uh, Bob, I don't think you're wrong. No, I think them all night. I didn't know what to do with hell a last minute ago, so hell I had to raise the damn thing. I hope you didn't have a can't pair of teams. Nothing against you, bro. I don't know what you do. I don't blame you. How much more you got beyond? For the record I felt bad. How much more you got beyond? 
I felt bad too. <laughs> I'm just saying. But it happens. Ain't what we can do. Uh, I've been on both sides. I'll tell everybody you can do everything. Uh, everything still lose. Coke and Coffee says, does Jack's best bet have WSOP satellite events we or did. some way to win a seat? We did. Yeah, we did them. I guess it wasn't last year. Man, this is so weird not having right? WSOP. I think it was, what, 2019, right? We did it 2018 and 2019. We did, uh, we've sent, I think, roughly 50 players to the WSOP main event via satellites. Um, I don't. I don't think it's going to be something we do this year, as everyone's saying that it's going to move more towards an online realm. I feel like there's a certain level of comfort, or some some people might feel uncomfortable about playing online. You know, that aspect of what they say, like bots are playing, stuff like that. What do we do? I think it was a five ninety satellite with hundred dollar rebuys. It was five ninety satellite with hundred dollar rebuys to get uh, main event seat. Or just a package. Mm -hmm. The package was pretty sweet. The first year, it was like, uh, oh, wow, Chuck picking up kings here in the small blind. It was what, it was the ticket? Pot. The ticket, hotel accommodations, and, like, spending money. Travel accommodations and some spending cash, yeah. Jeff folded the king-queen. Chuck Ooh. can't get any action with his two kings there. Raising out of the small blind and a straddle pot looks very strong. Very. You know what I mean? Very, You're basically like challenging the whole field in an already inflated pot. You're just like, come get me. Yeah, it looks like you have a real hand. It looks like you don't want anybody to, you know, anybody. You're like, please, call. Right, yeah. Out of, out of the worst position. Let me get the you in the spot so I can tear you up. Don with King Jack suited. He's built up a little wall of chips over there in front of him. Yeah, he took a little bit of a hit. Paying off Ricky. Ricky called him down with third pair. Yeah. I think all the kings are gone. Mostly. That's a bunch of them. I've seen three. All right, now watch the case. Watch will the case king come. Chuck making a call on the button with the queen 10 off suit and the only one to flop a pair. Got a gutter for Don. Ricky got some backdoor equity. And there it is. <laughs> there's the there's the backdoor equity he wanted. Man, Ricky running pretty good. Now he just needs to complete this uh this flush draw. And I think uh I don't know if Chuck Chuck might might want to continue here. You know that turned that heart makes it a little tough to continue. But Chuck is in. We're going to go heads up to a river. And it's a six. Check, check. check. check Blank check. all the way around. Chuck's going to take the free showdown. I like it. Scoop a nice little small one. Show the winner. And that, you know, tells 30, Chuck. 30 big blinds in the middle. That's not bad. And it tells Chuck, like, hey, this guy isn't invincible. Because, I mean, at some point, it did look like Ricky couldn't lose. Look, man, if you could win, if you could make that play once an hour and pick up 30 big blinds, you would be a crusher of the game. The flip side of that, it would require that you never lose any hands. Though. Yeah, that's you'd the, have to win all of them. That's the flip side. Dream life, right? Queens for Ricardo. Raymond says, what's the rake? Uh, we take five max at 40. 10% uh, increases, five max. Dollar increases, um, five max at 40. Ricky's Plus two from our behind. jackpot, but you could get that back. Oh, and William here is on the button with Ace King, and he puts a chip on his stack and begins to think. Incoming three bet. You know it's coming. Get ready, boys and girls. He's going to three bet to... 150. Ricardo, new guy to the table, hasn't played any hands. And Ricardo just moves all in. Ricardo's like, I'm done playing. Did He's Ricardo just snap it in with Queens? He four bet jammed Queens right in there. Uh, he only, I mean, only, he, he had 100 big blinds. I was going to say only? What did he start with like 500, right? Yeah, he started with 100 big blinds. I'm not sure if we, you know, if he came in. I thought he came in for the max. I thought he was putting 300 big blinds in there with Queens pre flop. Oh, 
Oh, William snaps it in. He asks how much it is, and he goes, I call. So we got a classic flip, right? Should be a flip. Not anymore. Oh, we got the diamonds. Nope. Wow. And queens are going to take it down. Yep, queens are going to take it down, and uh, William William's going to lose a little bit on that hand. When that guy puts in a cool 100 big blinds and then doesn't show you his hand until the river, you know that ace-king is never good. You know ace-king is never good. Like he's, I don't think he's ever snapping 100 big blinds in there with ace-queen. No. So, like, when he doesn't turn over his hand until You're the river, in bad shape. You know that ace-king is just never You're good. in bad shape. What's up, Torrance? Oh, wait a second. I lied. I have, I have one, yeah. mystery hand then. Oh, wow. Two. Well, yes. it's going to be a small blow to William, but uh, Ricardo here is going to take that nice little double up and scoop it in. Nick, we got some soup tonight, and it's actually really, really good. It almost, I don't know. I, I don't really know how to describe it. There's steak in it. There's like corn and, and like uh, peppers in it, and it tastes, the, the soup, like broth, tastes like queso. It's weird, but I'm enjoying it. Thoroughly. I'm just to throw that in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got soup tonight. I forgot to get food before I left the house. Torrance Grid, shout out. Thanks for joining us, man. Watching a little 2 5 No Limit Hold on the Deep Stack Cash Game Friday night action. That's what I was thinking, Nick. Like some kind of like Shepherd's Pie like soup thing. It's pretty good, though. You didn't know he was a poker player? Yeah, William Hung is, uh, William Hung's been playing for what, I, what I'm finding out a long time. It is. It's a very soupy day here in Florida. Hey, Jeremy, I'm going to make you a deal. If you go on American Idol and you sing Shebang, I'll put your name in any title that you want. <laughs> How about that? If you can get in the building. I'll put they your know name it. wherever you want. Wait, is Ricky three betting here with Jack Nine? Ricky. That's the second time I've seen him do it. Ricky. He did it once earlier in the stream. I mean, he has 4K in front of him. He can get, in, he can get a little liberal with it. He did. Jeff's got a huge hand, though. Jeff's a smart player. Jeff gonna just call and take a flop out of position. Jack, Jack nine nine. Do it. Well, it's not Jack nine nine, but it is. It is favorable for Ricky. He does have some equity. He has a little bit more equity actually than than Jeff does. Jeff, uh, Ricky takes the over bet here. It looks like two ten, right? Yeah. Two ten into one fifty. Yeah. Wow. Ricky can't lose. And he had the best hand. I mean, Ricky, Ricky taking big sizes all night. Um, fortunately for him, he just hasn't run into any big hands. No. I mean, he did run into a that's big a, hand preflop. That's a move that can, uh, that can sting you, you know, taking those big sizes sting you big, big across time. multiple streets. But he, uh, he definitely avoided an ace and a queen there. He, he just doesn't really leave your opponents too much room to fold, you know. So, like, when, they, when you are behind, they don't have any – they can't fold. That's kind of the, one of the benefits of taking a small sizing. It just leaves a lot of playability. Ricky, uh, Ricky L. in the YouTube chat says, what is the max buy-in in this game? It was 1,500, and I think almost everyone came everyone in for the Everyone came max. in for the max, almost. Um, Kevin says, how many times has the heater been cooled off? I think he's on his third buy-in, so I yeah. think he's been stacked twice. He's uh, he's not in good shape right now. Yeah, that's a pretty bad feeling. But he, uh, to be to be uh, three buy-ins deep an hour into the stream. William opening up the ace eight suited. William said, you know what, it's time to open the game up a little bit. But he might get three bet here by Jeff. Yeah, Jeff might want to just go, yeah, Jeff was like, you know what, three bet time. Jeff picking up pocket jacks here in the big blind, facing an open from William. Let's see what William does. Full pre uh says, I disagree. It's just an example of where it didn't work. Well, that time it worked out. I'm just saying, like, I like using over bets too, but um, using them constantly, like, across multiple streets, 
can get you in a lot of trouble. What, overbetting the pot? Um, yeah, using overbets. It can get you into a lot of trouble. Like if you flop top pair and you think you're good, overbet, 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 and then the guy just shows up with like bottom set. At that point, you're donating money. At some point, you got to realize that you're beat. Well, I think part of the issue is like you can't only use them with value hands, so you have to mix in some bluffs, and that's why it's really expensive. Like the bluffs have to really make a lot of sense, and they have to be in really good spots. And that's the idea of being able to pick that good spot. William here. Wait, what? Is this right? So is Justin now going to three bet him? Justin picking up Jack Jack. Justin's been pretty snug the last uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or so. Uh, looks like a raise there. 80-ish maybe? Oh, it makes it 60. Wow, it takes a very small raise. It takes a min click basically. Wait, Justin three bet him to $60? William Hong made it. 35, and I think Justin just min clicked it to 60. Four bet time. <laughs> nope. Uh, I think William's just going to call. I think he's a little confused. Yeah, it's such a small, small sizing. It's a very weird move. Oh! Wow. Top two versus bottom set. William, you're in trouble. They don't have enough for us to get over the line. Oh, no. I like that hustle, Donnie. Yeah, man. I just got William chips and nobody saw it because I was running so fast. Yeah, I thought they just up here. I thought it was some kind of black magic trick he had there. I just, just I just came in. I was, I was so ready. And little did I know, I was handing William chips to only lose them. Yeah, this is a tough, tough spot. And at this point, you know, what's what's the standard line? He's thinking, how can I get the, you know, the most value here? I have the jack of hearts, so what does he have? Queen of hearts is on the board, so what, the ace of hearts, ace, x of hearts, what? Justin's just hoping that he didn't run into aces or queens. I mean, William probably, he doesn't have aces. No, because we'd have seen a four bet if, we, if he did have aces, more than likely. The, the flop check was kind of weird. Oh, no, William. Both players checking the flop was a little strange. But now we're going to pile. Yeah, uh, Alex, you, you make the correct assumption, like, there's no way William gets away from this hand unless he has the absolute soul inside your body read and, and can, you know, put him on a set and can fold. But folding top two, I don't, you don't do that too often. Kevin says, I've been in the stream for five minutes and Kurt already has me drinking. What a sicko. <laughs> Tough spot. That's one word for it. Neither player can fold. <laughs> William drawing to four outs, as you can see, up in the top uh, top right corner. Justin did three bet pre-flop. William's like, man, it's really hard for him to have queens. There's only one combo of queen queen left. But if you notice, he's thinking about it really hard. Like he's not just snap getting his money in. Goes to show like he's. He a says he probably never has king ten. It's really hard for him to have queen queen. He can really only have jack jack, right? Or mm -hmm. ace king. Mm -hmm. Or maybe does he have ace jack? That's those, are, those are all the things that are going through. Oh William's my God, wow. William snap! Did you see how quick he? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He snap called so fast. Like the chips almost exploded like coming out of his hands. He's like, I call. He called so fast that I thought he went all <laughs> Man, man, man. Oh my god. Yeah, that's just a cooler. Like I mean That no, the hand played itself. That's just a super cooler. He can't get away from that. 
If anything, you take that on the chin and you keep moving. It's hard to figure out what bluffs he can have on the turn. You know, mm -hmm. it's hard to find bluffs for him, so you have to think he has a big value hand. The problem like, is you block all the value hands, except one. What, like Ace of Hearts X? But even then, what could that be? Because you have Ace Queen. He had so much of the board except for the two cards, you know, he didn't have. Yeah, could he have? Uh, I don't even remember the, the combos of the cards on the flop, but could he have had Ace King of Hearts? Yes. He could have had Ace King of Hearts. All right, so maybe two values. The board was Ace Queen Jack, two diamonds. Turn, no, Ace Queen Jack, one heart. Turn was a seven of hearts. River was a deuce. So he could have definitely had Ace King of Hearts. And that's maybe what made William Snap call so quickly. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anybody call that fast. Like, before he even finished saying all in, he's like, I call. Never. No zero bluffs. Well, I mean, if you break it down like that, I guess if he thinks he either has Ace Queen of Hearts or Jack Jack, I mean, he's 50 50 with the dead money. He probably, probably thinks it's a plus EV call. Dustin, what's going on tonight? Why does Ricky keep getting hands like that? This dude, like, you have it's just his night, man. Have you ever had a night like that? I've never had one. Yeah, where you yeah, just, I've, I'm talking I've, pure, I've, pure, I've, like yeah, up three to four thousand loss, so maybe one fifty dollar yeah, pot here, maybe one fifty dollar pot there. Yeah, never I've had been playing poker a long time, man. I've had a, I've had a couple of sessions like that. They're few and far between, but when they happen, man, they uh, they feel pretty good. As as Ricky feels, I imagine. Very good. Bet one seventy five and just fold. Ricky just punishing these guys with these big bets on the flop. On all the streets, actually, just punishing these guys. <laughs> he said, <laughs> Kevin McCormick, I like that. Mr. Hung, meet Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze, meet Mr. Hung. Right. Right. And uh, I don't know if they've been acquainted, but I can tell you, I can tell you this now: they're they're well acquainted now. Talking about these big bet sizes, another issue that comes along with that when you use like super big bet sizes across all, all three streets, I mean, it's really hard for your opponents to call you with worse, which is what we play for. And if they're calling you, then they're calling you with better, and you probably want to shut it down. Um, I mean, they're calling you with a decent amount of equity, whether or not it's better or not. They're calling you with a decent amount of equity. Mm -hmm. It's just hard for your opponents to call you with, with worse hands. You might get players that lay down hands as strong as like top pair when you take those big sizes across mm -hmm. all, all the streets. Mm -hmm. But even then, once they catch on, like, oh, he's betting, you know, pot, almost every single pot. I know he can't have it every single hand. That's when it gets expensive. That's when it gets expensive. But, I mean, he's running so good, he has it. He's had it almost. He's every had it hand. every single hand almost. Yeah. Like, at that point, you can sit back and just kind of, you know, swirl in your chair a little bit. Ricky's running so good. I'm going to have to ask him, Ricky, how does, how does it feel to run so good? Yeah, me too. And a heater is still trying to chill, still trying to find a pot to scoop, some chips to bring on home. And um, Justin here is in the big blind with two tens, and it's time to three bet. Heater. And he's going to take a rather smaller sizing again. He, he three bet William Hung to what, 60? when he raised with the ace queen so relatively small three bet sizing and he's he's gonna get heater to flop a pair so he might so i'd be interested does. to see what sizing justin takes with a monster that's what i'm saying this sizing is like indicative of like a medium strength value hand like tens or jacks if he makes it like 35 or like just main clicks with aces i'd be surprised He's just going to fold it, and Chuck's going to get out of there. Chuck knows two trays are no good there ever. Thank you. Mm. All right. We got uh, next hand shuffling up, guys. We've been live here for about roughly two hours, and it's been nothing short of action-packed. We've seen some chips move around the table. 
I personally would like to see some chips roll to Heater. I know he's been trying to search for his footing in this game or at least try to take down one pot. So uh, I'm rooting for him over here. As Don here is going to look down at the king-queen suited in spades, and he's going to raise it up to $25. King-queen suited going to be good for the Don man. Going to take one down. McPartridge boy swinging by the YouTube chat. Shout out. What's up? Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for hanging out. 2-5, no limit, deep stack cash. Six days out from the start of the best bet winner open. What do you think we're going to get in that prize pool for that 2K? Over 250? Over 250 is a lot. I'm going to take the over on that 250. Over 250 is a lot. I mean, it's a lot, but like you said. No, it's, a lot. it's the lock bet for sure. Lock bet for sure, 250. Yeah. Okay. Because I mean, I can just I can just think like you said in a hundred mile radius, like all the tournament players. Oh, more than that. All like, let's go. I'm gonna go on a limb and say a uh, 400 mile were, radius. Wow. Maybe even some people taking some flights. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna get everyone like from Biloxi to Atlanta to North Carolina, south to Miami. Like. Heater uh, in the lead. Can on he scoop swap. one? Can on he scoop turn. one? Picks up a small one. He's uh, still still got a, a lot of a lot of uphill climbing to go. Yeah, he's he's got a ways to go, but that one hand that you can scoop some chips in, he's always going to be excited. Sometimes about. it just takes one hand to turn your whole session around. It's very weird. You just lose, 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 and then you just you know, it just takes one hand, and you start picking up momentum. And you got that seat change. It's time. It's time. Jeff picking up pocket tens under the gun. Oh, oh, I think, did you just speak that into existence? I put it out in the universe for him. I think he just flopped the nuts. Heater, you can thank Dustin for that one. And, you know, Jeff thinks he's blocking. Oh, yeah, I'm blocking Queen 10. No, you're not, sir. What's sick is Jeff is still live. I don't think he can call here once that turn rolls off, but uh, he's still live to a chop. Pretty bad flop for Jeff's head. He does block. Uh, half the queen ten combos, but Peter can still have any of the overcards there on the button. David Paul, good point. First, stop the bleeding, then you can start getting some of those chip back, chips back. Decent flop, pretty decent flop. Just flop the yeah, stone. It's flop uh, the stone cold nuts. Yeah, it's pretty good. You know, I don't in position. When you're not receiving four cards, when you're receiving two cards, flopping the nuts is pretty good. Flopping the nuts makes you feel safe. You know, I don't, I don't get that feeling too often, but uh, I do enjoy Heater getting that feeling. You know, when you're down a couple buy-ins, you want to be able to scoop some pots and try to, you know, manifest that own thinking of I'm gonna win into your own mind. You know, because you think, oh, I'm just going to keep losing, losing, and losing. Oh, I flopped the nut straight, and I got a little bit of value. Okay, maybe I can do this. And uh, Heater's going to complete, what, to 10, and looks like Ricky checked. So we're going to go heads up to a flop. 8-5 Trey. Ricky is, uh, he's in the lead right now. Queen Jack is better than Queen 9. And I don't think, yeah, we don't. I don't think we got any, uh, I don't think the hand's over just yet. So we did get a turn card, and uh, Heater's going to bet, well, it looks like 15. 
And Ricky's gonna raise it up to 35, and we're gonna get a we're gonna get a river card. Looks like the action for the hand didn't go through. I think the hand just got misdealt. Uh, but either way, we will see which way those chips get pushed. So let's see what happens. Showdown. And it looks like a pair of jacks. Elise announced a jack. And the jack was good enough for Ricky to take the pot down. Another one for Ricky. Seems like it's easy enough for him to scoop all the pots. Man, we got through almost two hours of the streaming before we had to get into the mask debate. We're over on uh, over on Twitch. No, nope. that's a record. That's a record. They normally, I mean, <laughs> I think last week the the stream started. Gary C straight into politics, oh, vaccine masks. Man, William Hung just flung those cards. William <laughs> flung. He just threw yeah. them all the way across the table. <laughs> From the 2C all the way to Don. The steam. Yes. The steam. He really didn't like his hand. Maybe no, he didn't. <laughs> and he, and he, he's talking about the Ace Queen. He was Ace Queen. <laughs> he's excited, though. He's laughing. He's excited. I like that, right, Nick? That was I didn't I didn't want to like I didn't want to throw that out there. I just wanted it to marinate on you guys. But I like that. He Dustin's been cards. pretty on point today. He chucked those cards. The William Flong. That was pretty good. Pretty good. He threw him all the way to Don. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for hanging out. It's been a really fun stream. You're getting a rare form of dust in the night, guys. You're getting a pretty good rare form. Too many Red Bulls. <laughs> oh, this is good. Get away from that up. Yeah, crazy stuff, you know? Nick from Yuma says just a poker room in Florida where masks are not required. I'm not surprised at all. Have you ever been to Florida? It's like uh, yeah, it's I'll everything that you um, would imagine it to be. I um, Every day. Every day is an adventure in Florida. Every, and I mean that with the utmost sincerity. Every day. I read a headline. I, I kid you not, I read a headline that says, Florida man something something. Every day. When you live in Florida, you're just not surprised. Yesterday I saw two two guys riding together on the same skateboard. Stop. That's <laughs> not even possible. I love Florida so much. Oh, they were close. <laughs> Neither one of them were wearing a mask. That's impossible. Florida's wild. Man. Where's where's there's not enough space so, There's not enough space for this. Strategically it can, you can make it happen, apparently. Wow. I saw it well, I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> that is insane. I'd have pulled over and be like, What the hell is this? What are you guys doing? Stop it. I just, like, kicked the board from underneath them. Like, the old, like, no Robin way. Big. I just let them ride off into the sunset. The old, like, Robin Big moments, like, oh. I'm not there to rain on their parade, you know. It's, oh, it's obvious they were having fun, too. I think it was more out of necessity. I think it was more for travel. <laughs> <laughs> like, we have to get somewhere. Expedited travel, yeah. Oh, what is this? What is? Wait, what just happened? William just made it 130. Is this possible steam, guys, or is William just tightened up a little bit? I'm not in a position where that money's in front of me, but I would like Don to call this for a bet with Ace Five suited, and he's in position. Yes, Don. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go heads up to a flop. We don't know what William has. And that's not that's not a good flop for Don. William can be continuing with pretty much any margin of hands that are light years ahead of you. Queen Jack's ahead of you. Ace King's ahead of you. Ace Jack. I love this bet out of William. With the little 75 piece? Yeah. Down bet. Yeah, Don has more than two thousand in front of him. I, in in, in a guesstimation, probably more than two k. That is indeed William Hung, American Idol superstar. He never quite made it onto the show to be judged, but uh, the pre-judging section of that easily made him a superstar. He didn't need it. He didn't need to be onto the show. 
that she bangs moment <laughs> is uh, stuck into our minds forever. I know that, I know that and he's song. the man behind it. Turns out he plays poker in his free time. <laughs> and a lot of it. Oh, so Jeff here is going to raise it up with ace nine offsuit. Did you win? Was that the story? No, I didn't make it. Okay. That's the, I said because I didn't make okay, it. I know it's not the story. <laughs> to know the song. And, you know, that's, that's awesome, man. That's really cool. Thank you. That's really cool. I think Jeff is asking. You ask, from the live stream. So. Yeah. I think Jeff is asking about she bangs. <laughs> And uh, I don't think that was an original song. I think I think uh, William covered that song. I'm pretty sure. William's great, man. We had him on our, our radio show, and he just is like such a positive dude. I mean, he's super nice. Like, he's a motivational speaker, so obviously it goes hand in hand. But he's just a super positive dude, and kind of I would imagine he probably has some of that run good probably carries over into poker. All the time, all the time. It's kind of um, what you put out in the universe. Good clean, good clean thing. As far as you know, why the cards went so hard into the muck, I don't know what I don't know what was behind that. But he's definitely an inspirational. Yeah, yeah really, really, really positive, optimistic. Yeah. And it's it's really nice to see that in poker because poker can be such a such a negative environment most of the time. But I don't even think some people, and honestly, I really don't think some people understand that, like how much of a negative space you could be in playing poker. Yeah, that's true. You know? Like. If you're not properly bankrolled for a game, if you're playing with money that you know you can't lose. And well, unfortunately, that's like at the at the very low stakes. That's a lot of the people that you encounter. You know, people that aren't properly bankrolled, people that um, unfortunately are, are playing with money that they don't have, and so it just kind of snowballs into a negative atmosphere. So when you come across somebody that's so positive, it's so always optimistic, good. yeah. And to, and to keep, not only to have that mindset <laughs> set, but to keep it. You know, he took, what, a crazy, crazy cooler there, lost a ton of money, and, you know, he's chatting up with the players about his occupation, his success over the years, and, and what he does for a living. If you can do that, if you can find that level of positivity, positivity while losing, you can go a long way in poker. Because those tough days... Let's be honest, those tough days get a lot of people. Oh, I went and lost 3,000 on 2-5. Man, I don't know what I'm going to do. I hate this game. I hate the players. Blah, blah. And the next thing you know, you're only going down from there. Rather approach it from the perspective that William does. Well, you know I might have lost, but I'll get it back. No, 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 that's okay. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I try not to think about myself as above or below anybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really... I mean, I know people don't see it that way. Yeah. Actually, honestly, I know you've been poker too. You, you've been, you're looking at it like, no. You've been uh, traveling around. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Which is interesting I to like be that. like a celebrity. I would like that a lot. You without you knowing them. Like, that's something like I've never really. <laughs> so I'm wondering if that's difficult. Enough. Looks like the action's going to fold around. And uh, William here with the, uh, the Queen Eight of Spades is going to raise it up to 20. Heater is. Let's see here. Heater has two sevens and has not called yet. But he will call with two sevens. And here we go. Three ways to the flop. Heater's looking for a seven. Are those? Oh, I thought those were two spades. It's not good. Best bet live stream. Yes. Christian says, "How about that one-two PLO stream? We talked about it, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but it comes up about once a month in our meetings." Oh, oh no. Well, not oh no, because I could understand how Heater folds sevens there, but had he floated one time, just one time, he'd have turned a set of sevens. Yeah, it's tough to float out of position against two players with an under pair. Yeah, so I said Ace King Ten. Uh, oh, oh, look at, look at, whoa! Let me sit up. Look at, look at this from William. You said it doesn't happen often. for the big one this time. I mean, it is a bluff. It is a bluff. 
but William, he's just putting all the pressure on all the one pair of hands, you know. And he did it. He with did a it. blocker, putting putting the pressure on all the one pair of hands with a blocker, mm -hmm. even the strongest one pair of hands like Ace Look at William. You said it. He's capable of it. I told you, man. The boy's got some chops. Wow. <laughs> Go ahead and surprise me, William. Go ahead and surprise. I like that. I like that from him there. Yeah, I think uh, he made a read that no. Justin probably didn't have that strong of a hand. Probably had a one pair of hand at best, and he thought it was a good board to put a lot of pressure. And he sure did. He, he was right on all accounts. Put all the pressure on him. Going to slowly it. chip away at that deficit from that, that two pair versus bottom set hand from earlier. Yeah, and that's what he's uh, aiming to do there. But he did fold the ace two suited. And now he's going to tighten it back up. He's like, you know what? I'll step out of line here for a little bit, a little bit, and then I'll get right back to it. Ace eight suited for Don. Looking at the raise, and he's got a three bet here. This is this is that three betting light kind of thing, right? Is that is that what that is? And we are going to go heads up to a flop. After Don 3-bet, Justin did make the call with the 6-7 offsuit. And now let's see if we can get a flop here. We do ace, king, jack. Don is going to continue here for $100, and I don't think Justin can stick around. Bill, that is the real William Hung. Mr. She Bangs. That video came out 13 years ago. And it's still fresh. 16 years ago. 16? 2004. Woo. And uh, we still all remember it very well. I only hope to amass the money, the positive attitude, and the positive outlook on life that he has. You at the beach? No. You know, it's not even in the, like, from the facet of poker, but just in life in general. You didn't get that You know, no matter what goes on in your day to keep that positive attitude, not crumble. Look forward. I just got to Really? Because adulting is hard. Uh, right near Nef right in between Adulting's hard. But Ricky here with the six seven, he's already he has almost five thousand in front of him. Max Biome's fifteen hundred. And William here is oh no, William. You might get that four bet. No. We're not gonna get the four bet, but Ricardo here with two sevens. Right into the muck. He's not even gonna give it a chance. That's a, I don't think Ricky's going to be folding to a 3-bet that small. So we have three-way action. Uh, to a flop we go of queen, 10, 8. So top, excuse me, middle set for Justin. We got a pair of 10s for William. And a gutter for Ricky. That's the case 10 right on the flop. <laughs> yeah, and I think if you're Justin there... No, nah, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty draw. Right draw heavy flop. I mean, you, you don't necessarily have any flush draws out there, but you could have a lot of nines, a lot of jacks that could be hanging around. And God forbid the turn is a nine and you just. Now it slows you down. So you want to try to charge those draws the maximum to continue. <laughs> William's going to fold his 10 and. Uh, another one that goes Justin's way. Gary C, I actually ordered food through Nancy today. Nancy's working really hard on the floor. She's working very, very hard. So you might not see Nancy today. But she's out on the floor providing a service to all of the players tonight. She's an excellent, excellent cocktail waitress. Uh, and she's just working hard. I'll tell you ask about it though, Gary. How about that? Maybe you should ask about it. All right? Seems like maybe you need to know who I care less. <laughs> uh, Gary, I told her. I told her you're waiting. You just, you, Gary, you just keep waiting. She'll be here. She's coming for you. Ricardo's going to lay down the deuce four of clubs.
Kevin Walls with a pretty interesting stat says William Hung has over 78k in total cash winnings. How does that? How's that quantifiable? How do you find that? I, mean, I was gonna say, where did you find that? That like I read it and I'm like, where do you find that? I'd like to. I like to. Uh, like to see what I have. Don is going to turn the flush draw to go with his gutter. And uh, that's going to give Heater two pair. Heater's going to bet 60 bucks. And let's see uh, what Don wants to do here. You could make a, a case for Don raising here, right? Oh, he's doing it. He's going to raise it up to 160. And, uh... The night of woes continue, but right now, Heater is ahead. But Don has a lot of outs, and he didn't get there. It did pair the board. That actually looks like a really bad card from Heater's perspective, you know, because now he possibly just got counterfeit. Yeah, you're right. Let's see what happens. Oh, V-Boss, we're talking about tourney winnings, 78K and tourney winnings? Okay, that makes a little more sense. I know you can find those. Okay, YouTube chat, y'all getting wild. Yeah, down boy, down boy. Y'all need to calm down. I don't want to use the hammer just yet. Let's keep it light. Let's keep it light. Wow, Don gets one through. Heater's got a fold, feeling like he might have got counterfeit. Instead, he just got bluffed with queen high. Thank you. Tough spot and if for you're, Heater. If you're There's not really any spot in the hand where he can raise. It's tough to raise out of position on that turn. Uh, tough to raise out of position on that river. What do you think Heater's putting Don on there if he's betting the river? I mean, Don could have pocket tens and still be good. Ah. I see. Don could have jacks, queens, ace king, king deuce. You know, there's. You do make a good point. Kind of got to make that fold all day. Yeah, you have to. You, you don't like it, but, you know, fourth heart, board pairs, you just, you got to give it the big sigh and uh, get rid of it. I mean, as played, I think you kind of you kind of got to peel the, the river one time and try to make a boat and get all the chips in, especially if he has a super strong hand. Mm -hmm. But uh, just a bad river, just a bad run out. The run bad continues for the heater, man. I was hoping he'd turn it around, and I'm still hoping. It's not over yet. We still have plenty of stream left, and Heater still has plenty of chips in front. William opening up the king-queen suited gets no action. This table's been heating up a little bit. Started off a little snug. Uh, but now. A big buy-in, 2-5 game, pretty standard. But now, yeah, now it's getting wide open. Things have gotten a lot, a lot better. We're about two hours in. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, spending your Friday evening with us. Hopefully not too many of you guys are still on lockdown. Yeah, and poker, uh, the, the state of poker is a little up in the air. Uh, so all you guys that are you know out in Cali or any other place where poker is shut down, we appreciate you for being here. Hopefully uh, this live stream and the show we put together for you guys can kind of serve as like a substitute until we can, you know, get the state of poker back on one accord throughout the entire country. So thank you guys for tuning in. A royal flush, I'll give you some stats here after this hand. We'll see where Heater stands, and we'll see where everyone else on the table stands. Don puts in the three bet here with pocket nines. What a flop. Don just abusing the Heater man now. Heater's going to need some help. That's not that's not the help he needs. Unfortunately, he's only drawing to. Uh, oh no! I guess all of his jacks are live. For a second, I thought he was only drawing to the aces because the nines would give Don a full house. But uh, all of his jacks are still live, also. Oh, and his tens. Yeah, his tens are live too. That makes sense. 
He is gonna make the call. Give him some help, Kirk. River nine, Max Payne. Yeah, that's exactly what it would be. Oh, River Sweat. It's more like it. Looks like a deuce. Yeah, it looks like a deuce. So try. Close okay. enough. Peter's going to show the open ender. Jack Don's no going to show two nines. Get the no check mark. Good. You hate to see it. B Ball says the cash games are live in NorCal. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's good. Let's take a look at those stats real quick. About stats two hours top. in to this 2 5 no limit hold'em deep stack cash game on a Friday night with William Hung. V-Pip, uh, about the same. William Hunk playing a few more hands. Ricardo, kind of a new guy to the table, so small sample. Ricky still leading the V-Pip at 35%. Cumulative winnings. Ricky up the most. Ooh, William stuck almost 300 bigs. Everyone else kind of in the middle. Oh, you know what? Those stats for Heater aren't accurate because he switched seats. Yeah, heater stats a little skewed, probably closer to the uh, minus 3,500. This is true. This is true. <laughs> yeah, whenever you switch, the computer doesn't know, like, what player is in what seat. So if you change seats, the computer doesn't know that you're the same person. So the stats, the stats are wrong if you change seats. Kevin McCormack says, is, uh, is Possel back at Stones if they opened up in North Cal? I actually had this conversation with the boss man uh, about What's what that? what you would do if Mike Possel sat in your game. The boss man, what? his first that, instinct was, I was like, like, is that even a question? It was like, excommunicate him, ban him from poker, get him out of here. I was on the other end of the fence. I said, let him stay in the game. He's terrible at poker. No, He's awful at no, poker. No, I couldn't do he it. He can't beat the game. I couldn't do it. He can't. There's no... Under no like, situation can he beat the game. It would be one of those things where you know, like you know, you know, Magneto has like control over metal. I would just think he's a walking, you know, like get him away from me. You know, he might can see my cards. Um, but in that same respect, considering we, considering like we handle the security back here for this, and we know how tight knit it is, and how secure our live stream is, let him come on. Let him. No, he'd no, get he destroyed. definitely can't play on a live stream. No, 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 no. But like he'd get destroyed. Easily. If he sat down at my – if I was in Vegas for the WSOP and he sat down at my table I'm going in straight a cash at him. game. I'm going straight at him. <laughs> Let him stay. He, he, can't, he can't bluff his way out of a, a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> He's terrible at poker. He I is. Would, he could stay in my game for until he went broke. Yeah, if I sat down with him in a cash game, yeah, I, I need all those chips, bud. I need, I need every last one of them. Bob says he would get the whole table to get up. Oh, no, that, that takes too much coercing. I just, no, nah, I'm okay. I would probably lose money trying to get into pots with him because I know he's that bad. I would. It would take some pretty serious audacity for him to just show his face anywhere in the poker community. Yeah, I would like to, to think, like, I, I mean, I wouldn't go as far as say, like, he's off the grid. But, or anything, I mean, Russell but Hamilton, Russ Hamilton still does it, so I guess anything's possible. Look at the heater, man. Did you Make see it that? Call. Did you see that? 160 yeah, bucks. I thought that one was going to get through from Chuck. He's had enough. I thought Chuck was going to get one through. Look at him. Just like he's so excited. To Chuck's like, man, up. everybody else is just taking chips from this guy left you, and right. And he calls me down with two nights. The point that Dustin makes is so apparent and so infuriating if you're the player. You got the guy at the table who's literally stuck piles, giving it away to all the players. You get in a hand with him. He doesn't want to fold. And he's the only one. You're the only one that, that can't, can't, can't beat him. You just hate it. You Chuck's like, man, this guy is feeding the table, and he looks me up with two nines in this spot. How do you? Some do players that? you just can't bluff, man. Mm -mm. You know, that's a it's a lesson you got to learn the hard way. But some players you just can't bluff, and he's one of them. Not to mention when he's stuck piles. You know, you're never gonna really get that guy off a of hand. He's stuck. He's gonna want to make it back. He's less inclined to fold. But it was a little uh, bit of a strange line when he check raises flop and Chuck calls, and you know, it's kind of like. The ace comes on the turn. Chuck's kind of rep repping an overpair, I guess, like jacks maybe, mm -hmm. you know, tens. 
Heater's like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I'm still deep in it. And he's going to turn two pair. I don't know if that was the Queen of Diamonds. It was the Queen of Diamonds. So Jeff is going to turn the flush draw along with what looks like a wheel draw. Okay. Oh, man. And Ricky is here with two pair, and he looks like, is he grabbing raising chips? No, he's just going to make the call. Oh, no, he did raise. Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys. He did raise it up. So he has to make it 280. So Kirk just informed him, if you're gonna if you're gonna raise him, you gotta make it 280. And uh, Jeff has 12 outs. Jeff's a very smart player. I'm pretty sure he's already calculated the amount the amount of outs he has. And he's 27 percent. He did make the call. Let's see a river card one time, Kirk. And it's the four, which is the last card Jeff wants to see. He knows in virtually no realm is a four any good. And uh, Jeff tells him you're good. Ricky's going to scoop another one. Ricky's name should be DJ Khaled. Another one. Another one. Another one. And uh, Ricky's now probably up to about around $5,000. Just the regular night for him. Buy-in for 1500 Up 3500 Looks good. Um, he would probably, Jesse, he would probably say it's utterly dreadful. Some, something around there. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's definitely in another mode tonight. Ricky, Ricky came to play. That's all, that's all you can really say. Ricky came to play. Yeah, he's going to stack up the rest of those chips and uh, relax. I don't think I've ever seen him play in the nine. He normally plays in like the three or the four, maybe the five. I didn't know that, Alex. I hadn't, I hadn't seen any reports about that, but I, I mean, I believe you. It's just, it's terrible. I'm glad he's okay, though. All right, we got heads up action. Six, eight, ace flop. And uh, that turned ace. Justin's going to, looks like Justin wants to bet that ace on the turn. And uh, Chuck's going to go ahead and fold. Uh, Jesse, I don't. I envision by the end of the night, William won't be stuck. William, William's a pretty good player. Um, but yeah, if I was a betting man, I would say that William might be even or potentially even up after the stream is over tonight. Mm. But Ricky made it 25 with the 7-5 suited. Jeff is behind with two black fives and is going to flop a gutter. And Jeff with two fives is going to check it back. Jack on the turn. Serves no help to Jeff. But he does figure it's a good card to bluff with. And he's going to bet $50 into 52 and take it down. Once again, thanks for joining us tonight, guys, for our 2-5 No Limit Hold'em Deep stat cash game featuring American Idol star, self-proclaimed singer, and recording artist, motivational speaker, William Hung. We do enjoy him uh, gracing this game with his presence. I believe he is visiting in town, so it's great to see him stop by and chop it up with us, along with the rest of the players, uh, as we're about two and a half hours into the stream. Thanks, all of you, for watching on a Friday night. We appreciate you guys and uh, hopefully you guys can stay tuned 
till the ending of the stream. Keep it locked, guys. Let's keep watching. Let's hope. Uh, let's hope we get another big pot. Maybe. Uh, maybe a big one. Like I don't know. Overpair versus overpair, or you know, three bet light, four bet, three bet calls, and you know, straight over straight. Something just wild. Did I get my? No, I'm doing. I'm getting that tonight, anonymous. Anonymous. As soon as I leave this place, uh, I'm gonna go play some poker tonight, and I'm gonna go get some McDonald's. But I'll go play poker first. If I win, I'll reward myself with McDonald's. If I if I don't win, I'll starve myself tonight. Um, and it looks like Jeff, I think, made a raise and uh, scooped the pot up. At some point, P. Jizzy, Jeezy, honestly, that's what I thought. It's one of those things where I'm like, at some point tonight, Don and Ricky are going to have to mix it up in a hand. Nick, for me, I don't. It's basically free food. Nick, 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 teach me the ways. Help me. Teach me the ways of the app, please. Give me, just give me, uh, just give me a little, uh, few tips to help get some of that free food. I hope so, Anonymous. I hope so. Thank you, though. We'll see. I'll give you guys an update for sure on Wednesday. When I'm back, uh, when I'm back in the booth on Wednesday, I'll tell you if I had a, a good session or not. But uh, it's not an unusual sight. Jeff's gonna ch stack up some chips. He did uh, win that last hand. Booster Eight, welcome. Good evening. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, you're, we're about to hit the halfway point of our stream, and uh, not, if you haven't been in the stream, you probably missed a couple of big hands. But don't worry, I envision we'll have a few more big ones before we call it a night. Um, it normally goes to 11, 11:30. It all depends on like how uh, the viewership and everything. But generally, 11's around. Rolling in the deep would be amazing. It's an amazing, amazing song to cover. I'd listen, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I do get your joke there. So Don's gonna raise it up to 25 with the queen 10 offsuit, and uh, I believe the action did fold around. We got a couple of uh, limped pots around, single raise, and everybody folds, which is unusual. Live, live hold'em in games like this is so strange. It either goes like single raise, everybody folds, or single raise, everybody calls. It's in, in low stakes. It's really hard to get heads up. And even then, pots. even then, like in 2-5 when you're making it 8 to 10x, like you said, you you either get full, full, fold, or you get five callers to a flop. And you can never think you're good. I mean, if I make it 10x and I get five callers, I'm pretty stoked. Really? Yeah, you only got to be right one out of five times to push. You're, you're excited. If you're right two out of five. If you win two out of five times, printing. Printing 10 big blinds. Uh, at about 10 in the morning, I might be asleep. If I go and play tonight, I probably won't be up in the morning to play straw man. But um, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Straw man putting out the challenge. You want to play a couple hands. Donnie V. Strawman in real time. We should stream it. What? Stream who play who? You and Strawman. What? Yeah, yeah so Strawman can uh, <laughs> Strawman can check. Check check that Jack's full. Ooh, check bet the nuts. Check bet check shove the nuts. No, check bet the nuts. That was uh, that was an interesting hand, Strawman. Nonetheless, you did flop a boat. How, how does that feel? Got a bunch of chips off the Queen of Felt. Yeah, he did. Just flopping the effective nuts. I don't know what that's like. Uh, but we did get a three bet from William to 100. All spade flop. Chuck does have the jack of spades. Um, but the only thing about it is you're in a hand with William, and the king and the queen and the ace are still out there. Let's see what Chuck elects to do. He's going to just call. And a six on the turn. I think William's going to fire a second bullet here. He's not going to.
Chuck here with two deuces. This is about the third time I've seen Chuck with pocket deuces. Maybe the fourth. Hopefully, uh, this is the time he can hit that deuce on the flop. Cause he's Give that man a set one time. Give him a set, Kirk. We know you can do it. Ooh, Heater just calling the ace king on the button. Heater, what are you doing, man? You're going to get in trouble as uh, Ricky's going to flop top pair and immediately bet. Question is, uh, is Heater going to call one time with the Ace King with two overcards? He's going to need help on the on the turn, and uh, that's not the help he needs. He's got about three outs. Adam Flowers, good point. Says uh, Heater can't. He's been in trouble all night. Can't make the right move. Oh, man, is this guy about to look him up Lord with ace high? Good God. I told you, some guys, I, What's mean, happened? I, know, What's, I know Ricky had it. But What's going on? How do, how had you, that been a bluff? That would have been the, you know, I'd have, I would have went out there and given Heater a pat on his back myself. Oh, man. How wow. to not play ace king. Yeah, he didn't even raise preflop. Just flatted the ace king on the button, called all three streets, and then paid off a big one on the river. Interesting. Ouch. Ricky, Ricky. The usual suspect says suboptimal. Slightly. Slightly? Probably uh, pri slightly minus EV play there. <laughs> Good evening, Shane. And we do have our 280 tournament going on in the back of the room right now. I envision registration's over, but ooh, look at William looking down at two tens. He's going to raise it up to 35. Looks like that's the standard open tonight, 30 to 35. Well, this is a straddle pot. Oh, it is. Yeah, so he's, he's opening 3.5x the straddle, which I think is fine. Oh, and Don has nines, and Jeff is behind with ace-jack suited. Is it time for a four bet? Ace-jack suited? It's a pretty good spot to squeeze. You get to close. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He's still got Ricky behind. Good day of grinding is always good. Jeff's going to go for the squeeze, it looks like. He's getting raising chips out. That's it. There's the four bet. That's, That's a great feeling when you just see Ricky snap fold before you even get your chips in the middle. hundred percent. That's one less player you got to get through. And that's a pretty big three bet. I don't know if it's a big enough three bet to get William to fold two tens here. And William is so engaged. Like, he's so ready. He just wants to get in the pot so bad. I mean, now Don's getting a pretty good price. It's 125 to win 365. Not to mention the effective stacks. Everybody's pretty deep. Everyone's got about 300 bigs. Ooh. He's going to fold. He folded. Yeah, I mean, you can make an argument for both, I think. Oh, and that's not a, it's not a good over card for William. I mean, I hate uh, MJ Sydney. I hate nine nine out of position in that spot too. But you're just getting too good of a price, and everyone's really deep. If you had like one shallow stack in the hand, I could get behind folding a lot more. But everybody in the hand's super deep. Everyone in the hand, the effective stack is 300 big blinds deep. As much as I don't like it, I think you, uh, I think you got to peel.
Jeff in the lead here with Ace Jack suited, but it, he doesn't feel good about it. He can't feel too good about it. Queen and a jack on the board, and just got to check it back. Hope the 10 comes. Yeah, it's not. Tough to put William on a hand here that he would call the flop with after in a, in a three-bed pot, you know? Mm -hmm. And it seems, it kind of feels like if he had queens, he probably would bet that turn. Let's see what Jeff elects to do. If he wants to go for a little bit of value here with that jack. And he does. 125 might be just enough to get a call out of William. He's deep in it. He's deep in thought right now. It's tough to find a hand that he calls the flop with and then checks the turn with. In a three bet pot. Anonymous says, how did William Hung get to Jacksonville? Uh, he's a motivational speaker. I think that's kind of his side hustle. And I think he does some work in Orlando. So I think he's here either yep. reasonably often or at least this week. And he did make the call. Like you said, that was a pretty good bet sizing there from, from William there. That was a nice bet by Jeff. I think 125 was the magic number. I don't know if William would have called much more than that. So nice play by Jeff. So about that Get a little bit of thin value there on the river. I think a lot of players in that spot, and I think it's a mistake, but I think a lot of players in that spot check it back if you're in Jeff's spot. And check just back. Leave, leave that extra 125. That, and that's what I was thinking Because then if he checks it, then William's going to snap check it most of the time. Like, And if when William doesn't snap check it, William's going to put you in a – it means he's going to bet, and then he's going to put you in a tough spot in the second pair. Real, so, he's going to put you in a real tough spot. You know, it was a nice play by Jeff, and we've talked about it on the stream before. It was almost like a blocker bet, you know, because he, he bets 125. He kind of gets to name his own price. Look at this. William picks up ace-king here under the gun plus one, and uh, Justin's just going to call here with two tens. Oh, boy. Oh, man. There's William, betting out. Uh, anonymous, I don't mind. That's cool. He might get himself into trouble here, though. Nick from you. <laughs> That's not true, Nick. They're not. I mean, is TCH not streaming tonight? Is that why all your friends are here? I know you got friends in the TCH chat. I would, but all my friends are in this chat. <laughs> This time, William picking up ace-king off-suit under the gun, plus one. Look at William going for that max pain. Getting after it. Carson says he moved to Jax. Uh, that could be likely. That's what he said. It might be Orlando. He tonight. Did he say he moved here? He said he moved here. Oh, okay, cool. I'm pr I think that's what he said. I know he was doing something in Orlando. Pocket 10's about six times tonight so far. You're right, Bob. Every other hand, somebody has pocket 10s. Or pocket 9s. Brian Johnson, shout out to you in Maryland. Thanks for watching. Thanks for viewing the stream. Is Maryland Live open? I think Maryland Live is open. Maryland Live. That's on my list of places to go. I have never, outside of Vegas, been traveling. Give uh, a shout out to my boy Matt Bartles there. Bartles is up there? Yeah. Dealing, flooring. I think he's a shift manager. Really? He might be a floor guy. I think he's a shift manager. Or he's either a full-time floor or a shift. My god. Way to move up, Bartles. Apparently they were desperate. <laughs> Bartles was a pretty good guy. Good dealer. Super good deal. Maryland Live is open. Confirmation in the chat. Next time I see Jeff, I'm going to suggest he changes his wardrobe to Paisley. The plaid's a good look. Plaid's not a bad look. Um, Jeff, a pretty well-rounded 
guy who's been around the, the poker scene for a long time. For a while. Definitely uh, likes the, the uh, analytical aspect, the theoretical aspects of the game. That's why it's, you know. Fun guy to kind of nerd out about theory and hand histories with. That's why it's so interesting, you know, to think about the different ways to play poker. Because there really is no one right way, you know? Like you said, you have the guy who's, like, analytical. You have the guy who just wants to gamble. And you have the guy who just, you know, wants to have fun. Don putting in the ISO raise here against Heater's small sizing with the suited connectors. Real small sizing. Heater is getting annoyed with this. Heater gets the best of the – oh, nope, Don's still in the lead. Oh, Don's still in the lead? Don got two tens. Yeah, that's it. She bangs. She bangs. She moves. She moves. You got it right, Josh. Tens again. That's right. Somebody's got pocket tens every single hand. And the heater's not ready to fold just yet. We just saw this guy pay off 225 on the river with Ace King. Of course he's not ready to fold. He has a pair. He, he has better than he had that hand. He's even thinking about maybe putting a bet in a bet here. And he's going to check it. And I think him checking here can allow Don to at least eliminate a king from his range. And that queen of clubs, I don't think Don wanted to see that. Let's see if Heater wants to bluff this river. And the answer is yes. Heater can have, like, some queen X of spades that would call the flop, you know. Wow, Don with the snap fold there. Heater wow. gets one through. Look at him. Heater might have thought he was value betting there. Heater might have thought don't that he was good. That. Please don't say that. I'm serious. If Don doesn't call on the river with a king or a queen, Heater he's, might he's be. value betting the eight, the pair of <laughs> He the might pair have thought eights. he had the best hand. My God. <laughs> well, value betting kind of implies that you're going to get called by worse. I don't, I don't know what worse hands. What Don worse? Exactly. That's exactly where I was going with eight, that. Eight six. Jeez. <laughs> you said it, not me. You said it, not me. <laughs> what is happening? What is what is going on in this live stream today? Heater here is just trying to get back even. This game is wild. And you know, I I I hate to judge somebody by their you know appearance because you know that's not what you're supposed to. Do. But if I sit down at a table, you know, he him being an older guy, I think he's super tight. You know. Plays the nuts, and he's just been bluffing it up. You know, he looks like the old man coffee who never plays anything but kings or aces, and he's been bluffing his behind off. And that just that makes me laugh so much. I mean, if you spend more than 40 minutes at this table, you can probably have a pretty good idea of where you're going to be at and against this guy. Oh, yeah. And the turn is the queen. This is where somebody puts the rounders quote in the chat every time. <laughs> Rounders quote incoming. Yeah, yeah. Cue the rounders quote. And uh, Ricky's gonna bet 130. And Jeff does have a better na better ace right now, so he is gonna make the call. And the seven of spades will complete the front door flush draw. So Jeff might check it here to Ricky. And Ricky's just going to show down his ace. Ricky's actually going to lose a pot. I mean, and even then, it was a very, very small blow considering how good he's been running tonight. The man's up almost $4,000. So it's not too bad. I mean, he did get it in with aces versus kings and flop a king for piles. That's you love those situations. That's where the, the majority of his, his stack came from. That was a pretty gross one. And that's what's, I mean, sometimes it's apparent, sometimes it's not. But that can make your whole session one hand. Or you could have, you know, the five to six smaller ones. And Elise is going to step into the box. She's going to be in there for another 30 minutes. And uh, hopefully we can get some big hands while she's in the box. We'll see. As uh, we got the hand going out here. Pretty tight knit table. No one's left yet. We got the original eight right here in the game. Uh, no, that's not true. Ricardo <laughs> is the new guy. 
Ricardo's the, who's in this? Oh, Ricardo is the new guy. That's right. He's played one hand. That's it. Pocket tens. Again. What is happening? Again. Again, we've seen the tens. Ricardo played the one hand against Heater. Queens. With Queens. That's the only hand I've seen him play. Super tight. Super, super tight. Heater with the 7 8 suited again. Oh, here comes here comes the value bet then, Dustin. You're going to try to catch up on the river, I think. Value bet at Heater. No, Heater checked this time. And looks like Jeff's going to bet 55. I don't know if Heater can call it. This guy will does not fold. He will not fold. No, he won't. He does not like folding. He does not like folding. It's not fun. No. Nobody gets in your car and drives all the way to the poker room to fold all night. I know I wouldn't want to. That's not how you do it. When Heater got in the car, he said, you know what? That's not what we're doing tonight. I don't feel like folding. Yeah. And Ricardo hasn't played many hands, but he's definitely ready to order. Oh, Daryl Gresham got him in the Facebook chat. Yeah, My he guy. <laughs> he just <laughs> shout out to Daryl. Just snap was like, all right, take this. Take this with you on your way out. We coming to take over. Well, he hadn't taken over yet, but he's hoping to. And the action is on Don with the ace tray suited. Suited ace under the gun. Raise it up. I like it. How much is right? It's 30 bucks to play. William. Ooh. Ooh. He's so forceful with his raises. I love it. He's just slamming the chips in there. He's so ready. And I think this is a similar situation that Don and William got into earlier. Where Don actually had the ace five of diamonds. And I think... I'm not sure exactly what William had. Is that JL? JL in the Facebook chat. What's up? Shout out. Long time no see. And the flop is king, queen, seven, two spades. Don here with ace high. He does have some backdoor club action, but yeah, he's going to check to William and see how much William wants to make it to continue. William's pretty much got a lock on this hand, 95% of the equity. Looks like William chooses the down bet here to 70 after flopping top, top. Yeah, at this point, Don would be calling to essentially go club club he knows williams range three betting range is pretty pretty tight or at least so he thinks jl everything's good man jl everything's good this way buddy it's good hearing from you i've been dealt to you in a while so it's good to see you good to hear from you i hope the family's good I hope you're good man it's been a wild year and some change i can tell you that much but uh we're gonna go ahead and shuffle up and deal out this next hand and uh, looks like we got a lot of junky hands to start. Not too much action with the nine tray or the eight six. And uh, Chuck here. Oh, Chuck scared up. me with that black chip there. I thought he made it a hundred with Jack ten off two. Two five one hundred. I'm picking up a big hand. Ace Jack suited out of the big blind. That means it's time to three bet. Well, Don's just going to make the call. He's going to take a flop three handed. He's not going to want to see a tray. It's not a bad flop. Uh, but I, envi I envision Chuck will continue here with his 10. Yeah. Looks like, what, 45? Why not? Heater's like, why not? Come on, Heater. Let's go. Let's go. This is our guy, Dustin. We're rooting for him. Trey on the turn. <laughs> Trey on the turn. Give him justice. Give him life, Elise. Please help this man. Stuck three buy-ins in this help game already. Him. Elise, help him. <laughs> got the got the pair of trays in there. Turn card. I can't. Oh, I thought that was it. Me too. I was hoping it was it because he needs it. I can't root against my man, Chuck. No. I just don't want him to hurt Heater too bad in this one. Heater's too fun for the stream. He is. I love Heater. Can't hurt him too bad. And he, heater is that going snap to. snap check on the river. He did check it back. 
The river's a five. I tell you guys in the chat all the time, there's something to be said for timing tells. I think, you know what, even though it's not, even though it hasn't gotten to him yet, Dustin, I think he is going to bluff at this if it does check to him. We've seen him do that a couple times oh, when, when he's, he's, yeah, he's, when he's got zero equity. Oh, he checked it back. Ten is good. Ten is the nuts. A ten is the stone cold nuts. Push the pot to Chuck. Let's keep on going. Button's going to move to Ricardo. Looks like Ricardo's got some, uh, got some coffee or some tea. Carl, we're doing great. We're doing great. How about you? Thanks for tuning in. We're doing super good. Super good. Super good. Super good. A little 2-5 Friday night deep stack cash action. Yeah, and it's uh, been a pretty good game. On a 15-minute delay out of Best Bet Jacksonville. As you guys can see, poker is alive and well here in North Florida. The room is also slammed. We got about a million cash game tables out there. Yeah, it's pretty busy out there today. It's very busy. And we have, like I said, a 280 satellite tournament. Um, we have a high hand promotion going. Um, not to mention a regular night is already busy. Like a regular Friday night's already busy enough. Yeah. So you just add to it at that point. Smoke one says min buy in in this game 300. Uh, fortunately for us, nobody came in for anywhere close to the min. In fact, I think everyone came in for the max. They sure did. Except maybe Ricardo. I'm not sure what Ricardo came in for, but he's only played two hands, so I don't care. And that's a fact. Yeah. That's not. That's not an. That's not me being rude. I just no. He has. If you're only going to play two hands an hour. I don't. Your stack size is irrelevant. And he's literally to be like, fair, he's been really card dead. I've seen the cards he's been dealt. I'm like, why isn't this guy playing any hands? To he's be fair, he's got, two hands. Yeah, he's been getting dealt trash. The turn card and the river is a nine. It's going to give Chuck the best hand. Chuck gets the, the check mark on a very unfun run out. It's going to be really hard to for him to find a call here. Well, that's right. He did double up against William. So he's just going to tighten it up. Put the chips on lockdown. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, he doubled it up with Queens. That's a perfect and he, and he's out of there. He's like, I'm in and out. I'm done. I got that nice little double up, and I'm gone. Um, to be fair, it looks like he only has about 900 in front of him, so he lost 100 somewhere. A little less, 825-ish. Yeah, something like that. Pocket trays for Chuck. You know, Williams out of there very, relatively quickly. Just, Just got to get those cards in the box. He's got blue chips in the box. That's got why he can't get them in there. Got it backwards. Putting his chips in the box. What are you doing, buddy? And uh, Don's going to make the call with what looks like five deuce. Don flopping uh, bottom two here with the five deuce suited in position. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen seven, eight in pocket tents tonight. I've seen it so many times. And Chuck's going to bet $50. Turn is a jack. And Chuck here is looking for the four. Seafish one in the Twitch chat. Uh, thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping by the room. We agree with you. I I try to be unbiased, but I, I think.
Best bet is uh, one of the best rooms on the planet, to be honest with you. Games are always good. It's well run, well managed. I can imagine it being louder. Great professional dealers. Going heads up to uh, this flop, William H. Ricardo. Ricardo's uh, getting in there, this time with a worse hand. Pocket fives against pocket sevens. Probably going to have to fold out this flop at a pretty high frequency. Sorry, guys. I don't know what's going on with the stream. It's glitching out a little bit on RN2. I got, uh, I got Donnie on the technical end of it trying to figure it out. I feel like we've had this problem in the past, and I'm not sure how we fixed it, but we'll figure it out.
Sorry, guys. We're uh, trying to work through these technical difficulties. Not quite sure what's causing this weird glitch, but uh, Donnie and myself are looking into it. Hopefully, we can get this resolved. A little tilting. A little bit of tilt going on in the booth right now. You guys can see the run good continues for Ricky. Picking up pocket queens, takes down a small one. Wow, spicy turn card here for both players. Four diamonds on the turn. Gives Ricky the open ender with a pair. Chuck the gutter ball with a pair. With a better pair. 